Welcome to Green County Tech, Green County, the Golden Eagles. It's Newport Greyhound football on cable channel 15 TV on 42 Sports, cable15tv.com. We're excited that it's our second football game of the year. We're operating on battery. We hope we've got enough battery to last through the football game. We're a couple of minutes before uh, the start. You see the meeting of the captains there. The Hounds are on the road against Green County Tech. Guys, Ben Black, Hayden Schultz, and Josh Nation once again in the booth. And uh, Again, wish our best to Dan Klopeska, my good buddy down in southern Arkansas who will be watching the football game. We wish you well, my friend, and hope you get well soon. Guys, big football game because it's just one of ten that they let you play. Hayden? Ab absolutely. Uh, this is another playing up at classification. Got a big 5A school, Green County Tech. Uh, Hounds last week, uh, we did, we, I just feel like we didn't run the ball like we normally can, and I think that this week we better expect that. Ben Black, we're playing a, a football team that scores a lot of points. Yeah, we just got to find a way to stop them. You know, they've scored at least 50 points uh, in their first two games, and we'll just have to uh, have to slow them down and, and put some more points on the board. Hayden, when you come in uh, to this football game, the, you know, they say the best improvement that you ever make is from game one to game two. Hounds, you know, you've, you've got some things that you need to improve on just like you do every week. But uh, what do the Hounds have to do to win this football game tonight? Well, a big thing last week was time of possession. We didn't have the ball for that long. Uh, and Pottsville was a team that likes to keep the ball. And Green County Tech's a team that's going to go spread, and they're going to try to score. Like Ben said, they've scored 50 in both of their uh, games this year. So just taking the ball out of their hands, and hopefully defense will step up this this week and uh, we'll see what the Hounds will do tonight. Yeah, they won a 53-52 game over Westside and then 50-something, 40-something against Brooklyn in a less than a touchdown football game. And so they start 2-0, and you know, and, and Green County Tech down through the years, has they're not used to starting 2-0, and so these guys think they have something going on that's pretty positive here. I want to remind everybody that the uh, pregame show is always brought to you by Arkansas Steel Associates at 2803 Van Dyke Road. Phone number is 523-3693. You know, they produce and supply a lot of specialty steel products for the railroad industry in the United States, Canada, Mexico, and throughout the worldwide markets. And we thank Arkansas Steel for being with us. I did not see who won the toss. Did y'all happen to see that? Well, we'll figure it out here in just a little bit, figure who gets to receive. But WRMC Medical Complex in New at 2200 Malcolm Avenue, Suite A, 512-2560. Their services include cardiac rehab, imaging services including x-ray and MRI, laboratory work, pain management, physical therapy, family care at the Newport Diagnostic Clinic right next door with Dr. Lawson and Dr. Hunt. And don't forget about the weekend clinic, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Walk-ins are welcome. The White River Health Systems, the care you need where you need it. So the Hounds will receive the football, and we need good things to happen from the offense here early. Absolutely, and last week, first play that we had, the ball, Darren Davis stole a little screen past him and he goes and scores. So, uh, got to start up, start out and try to get in the end zone early. I think we're going to have some good success tonight. Like I say, last week, you know, first game of the year, uh, just working out those that first game jitters, I think we're going to be fine. Kickoff brought to you by the Mark Martin Automotive Group. Make sure to kick off your fall with great savings on the huge selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Over 450 vehicles in stock. And, you know, we're the pre-owned giant in northeast and north central Arkansas. Visit markmartinautomotive.com to see the selection of all the new and used inventory. Mark Martin, and they bring you the kickoff. And I never can see the scoreboard. Y'all going to be able to see the scoreboard yes, from there? Sir. All right, guys, we're just about ready to go tech to kick to the Newport Greyhounds with the play-by-play. -play. Here is the voice of the Greyhounds, Hayden Schultz. And here's the kick. Going to kick it deep. JT Haynes, it hits his foot. He's going to get on it. and going to be brought down right around the 25-yard line. And a thing last week that we talked about early it was field position. We had really good field position last last week. And right there to start out, not not the greatest field position, but the Hounds can work from it. Yeah, we didn't get to see that deep ball a lot last week. They did a lot of squib kicking. We got to start around the midfield uh, mark. But, hey, you know, we got the ball. We're going we're gonna to put it in the air. We're going to put it on the ground, and we're going to go score right here. Go Hounds. We're working on the camera. We are prepared for rain, so we have our camera covered. We'll try to see if we can get that handled here in just a little bit. 
Got it spread Thurston. out a little bit. Thurston him for the Greyhounds. Empty set. Here's the handoff. Monquell Cox on the jet sweep. Monquell Cox outside. Monquell Cox still on his feet. Monquell give him eight on the carry. Great job right there, Monquell Cox. He just beat those guys to the outside, and he had some room, and he just took advantage of it, man. You always like to see running like that. Good job, Monquell. Speed is going to kill in this game, and, and I believe that we have a lot more team speed than they do. They, they're a lot bigger than us, but, yeah, I believe the speed is in our favor. The Hounds will go quick, second and two. Ball at the 32-yard line. Here's the handoff to Monquell. There is a flag on the play. We'll try to figure out what the flag is called. More than likely going to be a hold. An illegal, illegal shift. Illegal shift. We're going to have to work on our referee hand signals. <laughs> 11-19 remaining in the first quarter. Second and seven ball at the... 28-yard line. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash throws it outside first down. Great job right Woo! there on the outside. And there's a big hit right there. Running over around. people in the secondary. I like to see that he lowered that shoulder and just got what he could get. JT Haynes on the reception. It's enough for a Newport Greyhound first down. Just underway. 11 minutes, just a little over 11 minutes to play here in the quarter. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line for the Hounds. And we'll be looking for a bad boy Moore's collision of the week throughout the broadcast. Here's the snap from the 41st and 10. Monquell Cox outside. Monquell Cox, great blocking on the edge. And that's going to bring up a first down. Thought, thought Monquell stayed on his feet there, but they're going to roll him down. Well, it's just hard running by that kid right there. Pulling the guard on the outside. I didn't see who pulled and got out here and got the block, but you can see our split receivers are locking up on the cornerbacks, and they're staying strong with those guys. As long as we get blocking on the corners, we're going to be able to run the football out there. 10.49 to go in the first quarter. First and 10 ball to 49. Here's the snap going back to Monquell. Monquell up the middle. Monquell Cox. Monquell trying to get outside. Monquell still on his feet. Tough running right there by Monquell Cox once again. Huge just feed him. Game. Huge game. And the middle was wide open. And, man, he just what, – what did he gain there, 20? They're going to mark him at 19. the – No. 24. 24 yard carry. That's man. We'll take that all night long. And the Hounds are going to go quick. Try to get on the ball early. First like and ten. It. Ball at the 26 yard line. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass on first down. Cash throws it outside, and the defender almost getting there. Boy, that was just a good play by that by their D back there. He uh he just read that ball really well and tried to make a play. Luckily, he couldn't come down with it. Well, that's all right. It's a timing pattern, and that's one of those deals where if you go out there like that, and you're the quarterback, and you see the cornerback that close. You just got to give it up. You got to throw it somewhere else. Try to run the football, but you can't throw that football right there. But let me tell you what, Cash's army has got great arm strength to make that throw. Second and 10, going to hand it off to Clemmy Alcorn. Clemmy Alcorn, tough running. Clemmy Alcorn, ball is on the ground. And it looks like Green County's got the football. And they will get the football. At the 22-yard line. Boy, you hate to see that on the first drive, but it just puts you back up against the wall and you just come out fighting. Go back to that out route with Julius Clark. The corner go, playing man coverage, to the cor and the corner just goes with the outside receiver. Be expecting an out and a go right here on the far side with Julius Clark. No doubt, Hayden, no doubt. Ten minutes and 16 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Green County Tech takes over. At the 22. These guys can move the football. Yeah, like we talked about earlier, they're scoring, you know, 50 points a game. So we've got to figure out a way to slow them down. First and 10, ball at the 22 for the Eagles. And there's the snap. Just a dive play. Met in the backfield. Great job. Alex Emmer's going to hit him first. And a host of Greyhounds is going to finish him off. Just played picture perfect right there. That's how you got to play that. You just meet him in the hole, and then you got guys coming behind you to help. Good job, Hounds. 42 Sports, Allen Russell, Facebook Media, supporting smaller classifications of football, in-depth reporting for 4A, 3A, 2A high school sports. Get on Facebook and like our page at 42 Sports, the number 42 Sports. Second and 10, ball still at the 22-yard line. 
Clock continues to roll, 9.40 to play, remaining in the first quarter. Blitz on the outside, they're just going to hand it off weak side. He's going to get a couple, Ooh, and there's a big hit, hit right there by Monquell Cox. Lowered that shoulder and delivered the boom, baby. Bad boy, Moore, as we said, going to bring you the collision of the week and the Subway Coaches Show after the broadcast. The George Cal Motor Company player of the game at the end of the contest also. Third down and about seven, third down six or seven right here. Third and a long six for Green County Tech. Nine on nine, remaining in the first quarter. Looks like the Hounds are going to bring pressure off the edge. There's the snap, and just going to hand it off up the middle where he is met, and he's going to be way short of a first down here. And it looks like they're going to send on the punt team. Fourth and three, still early in the ball game. They will bring out the punt team. Got to watch the football. And you never know with a fake right here. It's early. I mean, these kids are excited about playing Newport, and everybody, once you wear that Newport jersey, everybody wants to beat you. There's always a target on your back when you're from Newport. Julius Clark going to be deep for the Newport Greyhounds. I'd like to see him take one about 65 yards. Here's the snap. Not a very good kick. Get out of the We're going to get out of the way, and it's going to take a Newport Greyhound bounce. Amen. <laughs> right at about the 36-yard line. A five-yard punt. That's good for the hounds. <laughs> That's good for the hounds. <laughs> Looking back, yeah, they should have went for it. Hounds start in Tex territory at the 36-yard line. Moved the football on the ground quite well last time. Turned it over by a fumble. Let's see what the hounds can do here. First and 10, here's the snap. Cash is going to look to pass. Cash has got time. Cash has got Julius Clark wide open. Julius Clark still on his feet. Julius Clark, get it in zone. They're going to mark him short. Julius Clark, it looks like he gets in. Right at the one-yard line. Great job, Julius Clark. That's what we were talking about earlier, that little out and up. That's Great exactly job by right. Clark getting wide open. Great adjustment on the coaching staff to see that and to make that adjustment. And, man, that's, you know, it's easy to see it up here. But, you know, it's hard to see it when you're down there on the sidelines. And what a job of seeing it by Cash Forster. Oh, and he threaded the needle. That's a perfect pass by Cash. Just perfect. First and go. Give it to Monquell. Monquell Cox is going to walk in the end zone. Touchdown, Newport Greyhounds. I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. I like that right there. Hounds take advantage of the stop and the five-yard punt, the short punt. And it's a Bratcher Real Estate, excuse yeah, Bratcher Real Estate touchdown covering not a lot of real estate, but they covered enough real estate to get it in there. Mary Reed, Lauren Sampson, Carol Ann Young, Amanda Reynolds at 732 Malcolm Avenue in Newport. Acquire your real estate at 870-523-5100. When you, when you have success moving the football on the ground like that, that's what it opens it up for your pass game so much, and, and we saw that right there. Rolando Noguez, the kick is up, but it is no good. Rolando, usually a guy who puts it through the uprights, and they say it misses, misses right. Well, one of them said good, one of them said not good, so let's see what they've got seven on the board. One of them did say no, it was that it was no good, and the other one said that it was good. So surely we'll get it straight. It's still seven to nothing on the board. 7:52 remaining in the first quarter. We're waiting to see a score. Anyway, we'll talk about Sam's Diner a little bit. Folks, if you need a, a great plate lunch special, how about some chicken fried steak, meatloaf, hamburger steak, breaded pork chops, roast beef, chicken and dressing. They have all that during the week. Some of the best vegetables that you can get anywhere in the country. If you're looking for an affordable lunch meal and get more than you can eat, visit Sam's Diner in the bright yellow building down on 2nd Street, downtown Newport. I'll promise you it's as good as you can get anywhere. Sam's Diner, Jackson's Funeral Home, our family serving your family, care and comforting your family's time of need, the Jackson's Funeral Home. Score is six to nothing, Hounds lead it. Cash Forrester with a little squib kick, right around the 30. Get on it, guys. And great job by the Hounds to pursue, and they're gonna jump on the football. Great Green pursuit, County. great coverage. The guy had a little uh, bobble there, he, he mishandled the ball and uh, just made a good play on his part to go down with it. 
747 remains in the first quarter. Hounds lead it six to nothing at Greene County Tech. These guys will start at their own 28-yard line, their second offensive possession. Newport's defense doing what they needed to do. Last possession out on their initial possession. See if the Hound defense can control the line of scrimmage again. I don't think, like we said, that they're just going to outspeed us, but they've got some size. They're real big up front. First and ten for the Eagles. Here is the snap. And just a handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Dalton Phillips holds him up, and then the rest of the Greyhounds come to get him. Textbook, textbook. That a boy, Dalton Phillips. You got to get back there and disrupt that timing, disrupt that play. Uh, we talked about how do you stop them. Well, that's a good start right there. Yeah, absolutely. You, you lose a couple of there. You lose a couple. Back to the 26-yard line. Bring up second down and 12. And a great offensive start for the Hounds. And we'll name them all as soon as we can. Alex Emery, Zane Watkins, Dalton Phillips going to be that front line for your Newport Greyhounds. Second and 12 for GCT. Here's the snap. He's going to roll out to the right, looking to pass. He's pressured. Zane Watkins lays out and misses him. He's still on his feet. Great pursuit right there by the Greyhounds. Woo! Lose about four or five there. That's big time defense right there, baby. That's what we like to see. Orange hat swarming to the football. Clemmy Alcorn did a great job right there, not losing the outside contain. 6.48 to play in the first quarter. Hounds lead it 6 to nothing over the Greene County Tech Golden Eagles. A loss of four on that play. It'll bring up third down and 16. Boy, the playbook really diminishes down at this point. You don't have much to go to. Greene County Tech will go trips to this side. Watch backside. Here's the snap. He will look to pass. Screen sniffed out by the Greyhounds. Great job, Julius Pruitt and Zane Watkins sniffing that out. Third and 16. That's a play that you like to run, but the Greyhounds were set up for it. So. Well, you go trip set to one side, single receiver to the other, and then you know you spread in Newport's defense out, and you think, boy, this would be a great opportunity to run that middle screen, but Newport just had it played perfectly. That is a well coached bunch by the Newport Greyhounds by being able to recognize set, formation, and play. 6.15 remaining in the first quarter. High snap. He will get it off. Barely. Gave him a pretty good spot on the punt. Thought it might have went out of bounds a little earlier than that. But the Hounds will receive it at the 45-yard line. Excuse me, it'll be the 37. Yes, this guy was going to get the football from a from a guy I was watching him. A 15-yard punt. Hey, three times further than the last one. Yeah, they're averaging seven and a half. First and ten for the Greyhounds. Monquel Cox at the running back. Here's the snap. Monquel Cox. Monquel Cox, tough running there. Boy, I noticed number four there. He's trying to strip that ball. Uh, they've obviously seen film and seen that we've uh, struggled holding on to it some. Uh, we got to protect that ball tonight, and, and when we got a chance down in the red zone, we've got to make it count. Offensive line tonight for the Greyhounds. Gideon Ball, Connor Prince, Alec Simmery, Zane Watkins, and Dalton Phillips. Empty set. Here comes motion, going to give it to Theron Davis, and that guy is quick, but Theron is met. Gain of one on the play. Five minutes and 27 seconds remain in the first quarter. Hounds lead it six to nothing, Green County Tech Golden Eagles. And there was a late flag thrown there. And it appears to be on the Greyhounds. An unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Those are inexcusable. Those are inexcusable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Those are inexcusable. You can prevent that. Yep. 
you might not be able to make a block and you might not be able to make a run, you might not be able to make a catch, but you can keep your mouth shut. Instead of second down in medium range, you lose a down, it's going to be third down because it's lost a down, third down in almost 20. Mm. Here's the snap, Cash going to look to pass. Cash has got time. Cash has got Clark open. Clark still on his feet. Clark. Clark making a guy miss. Great job, Julius Clark. Wow. Getting to the 10-yard line. I like the same dance, baby. I like the same dance. Plenty of time right there. You got to credit the offensive line, giving Cash the time to throw that deep ball. And Julius Clark once again getting past the coverage, and he was wide open. Well, and the key, as you mentioned, there is the offensive line. Offensive line gave the guy time to throw. You give Cash Forster time to throw, and Julius Clark uh, opportunity to get wide open, and that can happen. Very dangerous, very dangerous pair right there. Yeah, third down and 20. What a great recovery from the Hounds for the Hounds. First and 10, ball at the 11. Here's the snap. Little tunnel screen out to the far end. Zaywin, he's going to be tackled for loss. Thought he might slip a defender there, but he doesn't. Yeah, played just, well by the Eagles. Played very well by, by the Eagles, no doubt. 424 remaining in the first quarter. Your Hounds lead it 6 to nothing over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. Second and 15 for the Hounds. And Theron Davis at the tailback position. Speed. Here's the snap. We'll give it to Theron up the middle. Theron's hitting in the backfield. Theron's still on his feet. He's going to lose a couple. Great pursuit by the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. They just played that ball well right there. Well, you got a speed guy, and you're running the little counter up front, up inside, in hopes that he can get outside. <clears throat> but... Obviously, Green County Tech controlling the line of scrimmage there, getting into the backfield and disrupting the play. No fear, third down and long, third and 15 here. Third and about 19. 3.23 and the clock continues to roll in the first quarter. Trips to our side, Cash gonna look to pass. Cash is gonna throw it, and they will throw the flag. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you. Yeah, you can see that from up here. He just grabbed a hold of his arm and JT Haynes was going to go up to make that play, and the guy grabs his arm and keeps him from catching. In all honesty, it's not—it's pretty smart. If the guy's fixed to score a touchdown, you can give up six, or you can take a 10, 15-yard penalty. And what it is, it's a half a distance to the goal penalty from the 19. So we'll still bring up third down and long after they mark it just inside the 10. Hounds can get a first down by getting it inside the one. So it's third down and about eight from here. Leading six to nothing. First quarter has about three minutes left. Third and eight. Monquel Cox checking back into the ball game at tailback. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash going to throw it out to Monquell. Monquell makes a guy miss. Monquell gets outside. Monquell to the end zone. Touchdown, Greyhounds. Running over folks at the goal line, baby. That's what I like to see. A little, little excitement down there from the Greyhounds. That's what you got to have, Hayden. When you get a chance down there, you just you got to score. Green County Tech brought one of their defenders up from the secondary to the line of scrimmage and came with some pressure. We didn't have anybody assigned to him because of the formation. And if that guy gets there, he disrupts the play. But what a job by Cash Forster of reading that guy, throwing over the top in Monquell with a beautiful catch, and he just outran guys. Offense is clicking. That's the difference in having a veteran quarterback back there and then having you a newbie. And the Hounds will go for two. JT Haynes will come in motion far side. Monquel Cox come in motion and they will throw a flag. It'll be offsides on Green County Tech half the distance. You like your chances here. Going for two. Yeah, does John change the play here? Let's see. Monquel in motion. Here's a snap, Cash is going to lose it. Cash still on his feet. Cash Forrester, and he's going to be brought down short of the two-point conversion is no good. 
Yeah, snap a little low. Cash uh, did his best to handle it, pick it up, and try to get in there. But on a busted play, it's, it's just extremely difficult to do. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Greyhounds lead it 12 to nothing. White River Area Agency on Aging at 1200 Highway 367 North. Next door to Glass Plus, providing in-home care services, bathing, meal prep, light housekeeping and transportation, care coordination, providing assistance and understanding how senior care works, nutrition and wellness. We provide meals and transportation, social and recreational activities, get help with assisted living and affordable housing, lots of community programs associated with White River Area Agency on Aging. My good friend, Mr. Ted Hall, thank Thank you, my friend. And Ben Black's lawn care and sprinkler system. Ben, you've been quite busy in your new job uh, endeavor. Let's talk a little bit about it. Well, I kind of thought I bit off more than I could chew when I got started. Uh, just been staying so busy. It was such a dry summer and a weird summer. Uh, but, you know, we're still rolling. I'm still going to be there in business, and I just appreciate everybody doing business with me. Uh, and if you haven't, uh, if you're not doing anything with me, holler at me and give me a shot because I promise you uh, it'll, be a, it'll be worth your time. Another kickoff brought to you by Mark Martin Automotive, and, of course, the touchdown covering real estate was Ratcher Real Estate. And here Lays comes out. He's still outside. Green County Tech's got Brock, and he's on the outside. James Dixon's going to push him out of bounds. Sometimes they just make those plays. Chris Reynolds was just absolutely getting it down the field, and I thought he was going to tackle the guy, and it was covered well. They just made a play. Bratcher Real Estate, Mary Reed, Lawrence Sampson, Carol Ann Young, and now Amanda Reynolds has rejoined the team. 523-5100, acquire your real estate at RatcherOneRealEstate.com for all their listings. It appears to be a flag on the field. To try to sort this out, came from the far sideline. Personal foul against the defense. I'm not surprised that it gets called. And the great field position they had gets even better here. As we talked about last week and all year last year, this is where the Greyhound defense thrived at uh, last year, the, in, inside the red zone, and especially on fourth down. First and 10, ball right around the 11-yard line. Here's the snap, handoff, weak side. 27 still on his feet. 27 is going to get in the end zone for Green County. Great call right there when you get great field position like that. It's, it's hard. Uh, just give the guys credit. I mean, you know, you get the ball down there, you get a penalty. Uh, those are just three yards. And, you know, anybody, everybody wants to start where these guys started from. Every offensive coordinator in the world would take that field position. Got 2.47 to play as we await the extra point. Yeah, still in the first quarter and it's the third touchdown. We thought it might be a shootout tonight. Great kick by that guy and it goes through good. Your Newport Greyhounds 12, Green County Tech Eagles 7. MPOC Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine Clinic, White River Health Systems at 500 Virginia, Virginia Drive up in Batesville, committed to providing the best possible care, utilizing the latest innovations in surgical and non-surgical bone, uh, uh, bone and joint care. Treat arthritis, arthroscopic surgery, deformity, disability, joint replacement, osteoporosis, pain, rehab, sports medicine, trauma, and fractures. You know, these guys did the first robotic-assisted knee replacement just a couple of weeks ago, the first one in northeast and north central Arkansas. World-class technology. Dr. J.D. Allen, Dr. Jeff Angel, Dr. Dylan Carpenter, and now Dr. Wesley Greer from the MPOC Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic, White River Health Systems in Batesville. 2.47 remaining in the first quarter as the Hounds get ready to receive. There's the kick. It's going to be a squib kick. We will touch it, it will go out of bounds.
Referees having some discussion about something on the sideline. Well, they're saying if the Hounds touched it, it would be their football where it went out of bounds. If not, they bring it back up to the 35. And it looks like they're going to bring it back up to the 35. They've got it marked. We're ready to go. Prayer still go out to Tyler Johnson, who had surgery last week. Uh, he got a plate and seven screws in. He's going to be out for the season. We wish the best for Tyler Johnson. No doubt about it. Tough luck for that young sophomore. Yeah. Quad set to the left. Now we switch out of that. Cash coming out here at a split in. I like the play design here. Monquel Cox is going to be at quarterback now. There's snap. Monquel is going to keep it left. Monquel is going to get outside. Monquel's got blocking. I just like a, it. Just a little window dressing right. there is what I like to call that. Yeah, a little, little trickery. Something they haven't seen. He gets five. Second down and five from the 40. Cash still going to go out to receiver. And Theron Davis will now go to quarterback. Here's the snap. Theron's just going to keep it behind. Theron Davis is going to try to get outside. Theron Davis steps on the guy, and then he's hit. Great pursuit right there by that guy at the secondary position for Green County. Yeah, it was a foot race there to the outside, and the other guy was coming, and as Theron was trying to cut back and make a move, that guy just hit him from behind, man. And we didn't get any blocks out here that No, time. we sure didn't. We lose five, third down and ten now. Wow. Clock continues to move. A minute 45 remaining in the first quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to 7. Ball's at the 35-yard line for the Hounds. Cash back at quarterback. Cash going to roll left. Cash looking to pass. Cash has got a guy, Julius Clark, through his hands. What a bullet by Cash. And Julius just couldn't come down with it. Ball was a little high, but you can't make them all. Cash looked good rolling to his left, throwing across the body. Put it near on the money. He was on the mun. Might not have been on the money all the way there, but he was on the mun. He was close. Well, 90% of the time, Julius Clark comes down with that football. Fourth down punting situation for the Hounds from their own 35-yard line. Cash will punt for the Greyhounds. And he had some boomers last week. Good snap. Cash is going to get it off end over end. They will not return it. And the ball will be marked at the 28-yard line. Another good punt by Cash Forrester. There's a flag on the play. 37-yard punt. And we'll wait for the white hat to walk over and discuss it. Going to wave it off. Dad, I was down at Sam's Diner this week eating lunch and uh, ran into a guy and he said he wanted to implement the Gene Rule. <laughs> Mr. Gene Grice? <laughs> yes, sir. He said, no talking bad about the referees. That's the Gene Rule. I have not violated it. <laughs> I have not violated the Gene Rule. Like me some Gene Grice. First and 10 for the Eagles. Ball at the 28-yard line. Hounds look to bring pressure. Motion far side. And here's the handoff up the middle. Great job by the Hounds wow. once again. Just an excellent job by those guys up front just winning that battle. And uh, w when you win up front, it shows everywhere else. He didn't quite get one, but we'll give him one. Second down and nine. Just under a minute to play in the first quarter. And they will get us with a flag. A little offsides there. What well, a long count, and the Hound defense has been just bowing their necks and coming across the line of scrimmage, and they got a, a solid five yard, bring up second down and four from the 34. I like it. I like having a big monitor that I can see. Yeah. That flag doesn't bother me. 
uh, because it's an effort. It's Absolutely. An effort mistake. Here's the snap. Green County just going to go right. Quarterbacks met. That's a big hit right there. Julius Pruitt. Julius Pruitt, and who is that? Alex Emery. 55, Alex Emery. Bad boy Moore. Hit of the week we're looking for. Is that qualify for one, guys? Well, we'll have some bigger hits than that one, but that was a big hit right there. Clock continues to roll. Ten seconds remaining in the first quarter. And they're going to elect to run the clock out. They're going to run it out 12 to 7 in favor of the Greyhounds. Want to remind you about Robert Turner, financial advisor for Edward Jones. Focus areas include investors saving for retirement, retirees, college savers, individuals with insurance need, individuals with estate needs. Robert Turner, number 62, invested in your community. What a great Greyhound football player that guy was back in the day. Dr. Gavin McDowell, customized vision care in the Village Mall. Phone number is 523-3333. We appreciate all the comments that you make on our Facebook videos. Professional vision care and eye health care, latest styles of name brand glasses, name brand sunglasses, prescription and non-prescription. The selection is fantastic and a guaranteed contact lens success program at Dr. Gavin McDowell's. Farmers Tire Mart, 1501 Malcolm Avenue. Tires for cars, trucks, tractors, trailers, ATV, lawnmowers, and they do a lot of automobile service work, including oil changes. Uh, they check the belts, the hoses, the tire rotations, front-end work, brakes, and mobile service available. Check us out at Facebook.com, Farmers Tire Mart, or at our website at FarmersTireMart.com. Tommy Bain and family at Farmers Tire Mart. Third down in less than five and a big play. Not necessarily a huge play in the game, but a big play, a possession play here. Yeah, we got to watch the football, uh, be smart up front, don't make any mental errors. And like I said, we got to bow that back and just stop them. And the Hounds jump off sides once again. You never want to see your team get a penalty. But if it's an effort penalty, it's a little bit easier to bear than it is, like we said, the mouthing penalty or the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. It always hurts. Well, like what Coach Heinsley would say, so that's that's it's a little it's a little lack of discipline because you're watching the football. You should watch the football as opposed to listening to the snap count. But again, great, you know, if you're giving effort, you're giving effort, and that's okay. Absolutely. First and 10, ball at the 39-yard line for GCT. Quarterback under center, here comes motion. Fakes the handoff, he's gonna roll out, he's got a man, great job right there, Julius Clark getting his hands up. 55, Alex Emery absolutely dominated his guy that he was on. I mean, made him eat turf. He was about to make the uh, handoff, wasn't he? Yeah. I mentioned this a while ago, I love having a big monitor here in front of me where I can see because I, I certainly can't see what's going on down there in the field. But this with my reader glasses, kind of looks like a real game to me. First time in a couple of years. <laughs> Second and 10 for GCT. Hams look to bring pressure, here comes motion. The snap fake, quarterback's gonna try to keep it. Dalton Phillips did a great job right there, shedding his block and making the great open field tackle. Outside contained. He shed his block, he remained outside, he had that leverage, he made the guy cut back and made a big play one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you don't even have to make the tackle there. As long as you get outside there, if you're the outside guy, you gotta get out there and set an edge, as Coach Hinesley talks about a lot, even from that position, because we're in a five front, he's playing actually the outside guy, he got an outside linebacker to his left, but Dalton was just a great play, whipping his man at the line of scrimmage and coming across and being the contained guy. 11 minutes to play in the first quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to 7. Third and 13. There's the snap. Quarterback's going to roll out to his left once again. He's going to throw it. Great coverage right there by the Hounds. Incomplete pass. Great job, JT Haynes in coverage. Big time play right there. Good job, Hounds. They're going to bring on the punt team. Fourth and long. Hounds, for the Eagles. Hounds bringing a lot of pressure. 
noticing that Green County Tech doesn't like to throw the ball downfield. They're more of a run team, and they like to get outside. And they get that quarterback on the outside and let him throw just a little odd and in, nickels and dime you down the field. And great job right there by the secondary to cover. No doubt, Hayden. I hope this guy gets his average on this punt. <laughs> Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Good snap. Here's the kick. Going to kick it to Julius Clark. Julius Clark going to go try to get it. Julius Clark. Julius Clark's met. Julius Clark still on his feet. Julius Clark finally will be brought down at the 26-yard line. Great job by Green County Tech to get down there and secure that guy. We know on that play right there, you break that one tackle, uh, and you stand a chance to go the distance and score. Hounds will have the football about the 26-yard line. Bank of England Mortgage Company, Kenny Thaxton, the Newport Village Mall. Folks, if you're interested in buying a home and you need some money to buy that home, let Kenny Thaxton go to work for you. That's what he does. He makes a living out of helping people get in new homes. And if you're thinking about refinancing, give him an opportunity to do that for you also. Kenny Thaxton at the Bank of England Mortgage Company, big Greyhound supporter. First and 10 for the Hounds. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash has got a man, Zaywin Smith. Great reception, Zaywin Smith, and just stretch out and get some extra. Just fighting for those extra yards. You know, football's a game of inches. Every little bit counts. 10-26 remaining on the clock. The Hounds lead it 12-7 in the second quarter. Yeah, he got five there. That's a good first down play. And Cash is throwing the football very, very well, and the guys are catching it most of the time. Here's the snap. We'll go to Monquell up the middle. Monquell Cox. Monquell Cox, tough running first down for the Greyhounds. That's something we didn't see a lot last week was running the football aggressively up the middle. Not only is he fast, he is he is as quick as he is fast. He can go east to west and at the same speed he's going north to south on. And a guy who's not listed very big, 160 pounds, and he will run between the tackles. First down and 10 for the Hounds up to the 39 yard line. Hounds go long count. Change the play here. Here's the snap. Cash will look to pass. Cash got time. Cash throws a great ball to JT Haynes. JT Haynes. We're Great reception. It'll be a first down for the Greyhounds. We're getting guys in space. We're throwing the ball around. We're making good passes. We're making good catches. I like what our offense is doing here. That was a back shoulder throw and a great catch by JT. He kind of got a little awkward turning around, but, boy, he put his paws on it, and he brought it right in. A great strike from Cash and a beautiful reception by JT. 9.34 remaining in the second quarter. First and 10 for the Hounds. Here's the handoff to Julius Pruitt. Julius Pruitt getting outside. Julius Pruitt runs a guy over. Over. Another first down for the Greyhounds. And the offensive line right there just doing a great job staying on their guy and running guys over. Back in my day, Hayden, we called that a pancake. That's a sticker. Down to the 39-yard line. First down and 10 for the Hounds there. Still up 12-7. Nine minutes and 15 seconds remain. The clock continues to move here in the second quarter. There's the snap. Cash going to hand it off to Clemmy Alcorn. Clemmy Alcorn, one of those tough runners we have for the Greyhounds. Boy, he fights hard for two or three there. And they're going to spot him at about the line of scrimmage. I don't agree with that, but I'm not going to argue. Hey, thought he got more than that, but what do we know? We're just the pronouns. We're just the pronouncers. Bring up second and 10 ball at the 39 yard line for the Hounds. Trip set, Cash gonna look to pass. Cash got time, Cash still looking. Cash is gonna keep it. Cash Forrester still on his feet, Cash Forrester. Great job by Cash Forrester. Hey, that's where that experience comes in. Knowing when you don't have anybody open, you just gotta tuck it and get what you can get. Great job, Cash. It's going to bring up third down and five. The ball resting at the 34-yard line. A couple of plays here to get five. Eight minutes remain in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to seven over the Golden Eagles. Long count doesn't work. We'll get a new play. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Going to throw that hitch route again. And they're going to call it incomplete. 
Just couldn't come down with it. That was played well by the Green County Tech defense. More than likely the Hounds will go for it here. And you have a lot of plays that you can get five yards on. The quick outside throw like that. Julius Clark checking back into the ball game. Watch that guy right there. Yeah, he, if he's on the field, he's always a threat to score. Fourth and five. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash has got Clark. Clark, great job tiptoeing and getting the first down. What a route by Clark. He just runs up, and his defender just is afraid he's going to get beat, so he's, he's five yards deeper than him, and he just cuts on a dime, and he's wide open. Uh, knowing where you're at on the field right there is very important. That close to the sidelines. Good job, Julius. Cash looking off the receiver. He looked left. Looked like he was going to throw that way, then went right. First down for the Hounds on a fourth and five. Ball is down to the 26-yard line. Clemmy Alcorn checking in the ball game at tailback. Motion. Cash going to look to pass. Cash has got time. Julius Pruitt's open, and we're just overthrowing. Julius runs a good route there, just overthrown by Cash, and, you know, that's just part of it. Well, you're not going to complete all of them at any level. No. And you'd much rather him overthrow one as underthrow one. That's exactly right. But I love the play call. Seven forty-one remaining in the second quarter. Hounds lead it twelve to seven. Here's the snap. Going to go to Clemmy Alcorn on the ground. Clemmy Alcorn, great tough running by Clemmy. Just fighting for those extra, those yards after contact, man, are just so so important. He gets five, and it'll bring up third down and five. From the 21, Hounds knocking on the door once again. 7-19, the clock continues to roll. Monquell checking into the ball game now. Cash looking to pass. Cash, he throws it up. Julius Clark's open. Flag. Going to see if he calls it a touchdown. And they will signal a touchdown, but there is a flag. More than likely going to be a hold or a clipping. Chop block. Chop block. When you've got a 165 pound back on a 250 pound lineman, you know, you just kind of got to do all you can do. And that's what they will call. Well, so that's one touchdown called back. I don't care who you're playing or where you're at. That hurts. A 15-yard penalty. Mm. <laughs> make it third and 20. Third and 20. You know, you just got to make the best of the situation. Not much in the playbook to draw up at this uh, down and distance, but the Greyhounds will find a way. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash throws one. It's overthrown. And bring up fourth down. So hard to throw that perfect strike for a touchdown and then come back and they ask you to do it again. You know, emotionally, it's tough. Looks like the punt team will come out and we'll try to pin them deep here. It was an obvious chop block on the Hounds. 6.46 remaining in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to seven over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. Good snap, Cash Forrester gonna get it off. Another great punt by Cash to the sideline. And great job wow. by the Hounds to get down there. Hey, that's an awesome punt, man, and even awesome coverage. 
Well, here's what it does with 638 to play in the half. It's a lot of time, but it gives the Hound defense an opportunity to hold these guys and make them punt back, and you ought to get the ball if they don't get any first downs. You ought to get it near midfield, so come on defense right here. you got to stay away from the big play. Stay away from the big play here. NEDC in downtown Newport always working for industry and working for not only industry to come into the community, but also working with uh, the industry that is already there. We thank John Chadwell and the NEDC crew, and uh, they and uh, Chamber of Commerce, what do they do a job? What kind of a job do they do? They are absolutely excellent at NEDC in the Newport Chamber. First 10 off the nine-yard line. Great job right there. Again, Dalton Phillips. Maybe one one-yard gain on the play. We'll bring up second down and nine. Package that the Hounds are used to seeing, that diamond that we ran for a little bit last year. We had Tyrell Fryer. Yeah, very, very familiar for the Hounds. Green County will go trips to the far sideline. Second and nine. Here's the snap. Quarterback's just going to keep it on the ground. Tough running by that kid. He's going to get a first down. That's the exact same play that we couldn't stop last week. The option play, quarterback coming this way. If you shut off the quarterback, they had a pitch. It looked like we had the pitch guy covered there. So that was a play that the Hounds worked on this week, and obviously those guys worked on it too. You had them backed up. Still got them at the 20-yard line. And now the officials stop the clock again for some reason here. We're ready to go. Maybe equipment problem. They had to get the play in. <laughs> That's equipment there. 541 remaining in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to 7. Trips again to the far sideline. First and 10 for Green County ball at the 20-yard line. Single coverage at the bottom of the screen. Here's the snap, just a handoff. And he's got daylight, and he's still on his feet, and he breaks a tackle. Tough running by Green County there. You know, you said you got to avoid the big play. Uh, you just can't give them increments of 20. Now you got to hold them. Five minutes and 19 seconds remain in the second quarter. First and 10 for the Eagles. Ball at the 48 yard line. Here's the snap, takes the handoff. Quarterback's just gonna keep it. Tough, tough, tough kid, he, he lowered his shoulder there and just got a few extra yards. Got a man down. No, timeout. Hounds will call a timeout here. And it reminds me to tell you about Unity Health Harris Medical Center located at 1205 McLean Street in Newport. Their phone number is 870-523-8911. Don't forget about our Greyhound luncheons there every Monday and what a great job Unity Health does for the Newport Booster Club and allowing them to come over there and it's a five buck lunch and it's always special, it's always pretty good. As far as the hospital goes, emergency room, home health care, orthopedic services, pediatrics, podiatry services, primary care, rehabilitation therapy services, senior care, surgical services, women's health, and a birthing center. For more information, you can go to Harris Medical Center, Unity Health. Talk about our hospital there at home. City of Newport, the Recycling Center. We'll talk more about them here in just a little bit. Talk about them a lot. Open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Drop off anytime. Bins are available after hours. Cardboard, newspaper, magazines, white paper, plastic, tin cans, aluminum, electronics, clothing, glass bottles, and a free paper shredding service. 217-0070 to Bonnie if you need to come after hours. Come on, Hounds. Under five minutes remaining in the second quarter. Second and five. Second down and five. Here's the snap, just a quarterback keep up the middle. Great job by the Hounds. Oh, what a good lick right there. By the, looks like number 32. They fumbled the football and, and the Hounds have it. Hounds recover the fumble. 
It looks like Spencer Murphy knocked it loose. I was still watching the guy that was on the ground. Yeah, I didn't see it. I saw the ball come. I didn't see the ball come out. I saw one of our guys go dive towards the 40-yard line, and then all of a sudden you see the official point our way. That's all I saw. I didn't see it come out. Got to be sitting for those guys right before halftime trying to go in and score. Man. Go Hounds. What would a touchdown here mean for the Hounds to go up by three scores? First to 10, ball at the 39. Monquell Cox outside Monquell Cox. Gain of about five on the play. Ball was marked at the 41. Monquell is going to pick up five on the play. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the sec in the first half. Hounds trying to go up by three scores here. Second and five. Here's the snap to Cash. Cash going to look to pass. Cash is pressure, but he's got a man. Plenty oh. of court just lays out and doesn't come up with it. Just one of those plays that if you get that one right there, man, it really puts the nail in the coffin. We'll bring up third down and five, and again, a lot of plays that this Hound offense can run on third and five. What will John Bradley pull out of the hat here? Hand off to Monquell Cox up the middle. Monquell Cox still on his feet. Monquell gets outside. Monquell makes a guy miss. Monquell first down for the Greyhounds. What a job running the football right there. Just reading your blocks and just, man, just effort right there. I love to see that speed by the Greyhound offense. You always talk to a guy and say, you got to hit the hole hard. You got to hit up in there hard. But sometimes you got to hit up in there and then you got to find a hole. Wait if there's not develop. a hole. And you wait for it to develop. And once it does, and then you take it straight up at field. That's what Monquell did. First down and 10 for the Hounds. Ball at the 45 yard line going in. Come on, Hounds. 3.52 remaining in the first half. Darren Davis checking in. Cash looking to pass. Cash pressure steps up in the pocket. Cash is going to throw it deep to Clark. Oh. Cash is throwing the ball exceptionally, exceptionally well this year. And Julius just comes up short there. Yeah, incomplete pass there. Gives everything he has on there. And you could see him kick it into fifth gear on the outside and laying out for it. And just doesn't come up with it. Just part of it, Hayden. Down the field, I like the call. Second down and 10, clock stops. Plenty of time, 12-7, Hounds lead. They've led throughout. Ball at the 45-yard line. Here's the snap, we'll go Theron Davis to the left. Theron Davis, Theron Davis gets outside, stiff arm on the guy. Theron Davis still on his feet. Theron Davis! Right around the 20-yard line, Darren Davis, and that just shows you that speed that that kid has. It's just deadly speed. He saw a seam there. He took it, and, man, beautiful, beautiful executed play. Great blocking by the Hound offensive line and out here on the perimeter. Darren found the seam, found the gap, found the hole. Hound's knocking on the door. Take care of the football. Plenty of time to score. 3.32 remaining in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 12 to 7. Trips to the top of your screen. Cash is going to roll out. Cash has got time. Cash is going to look. An incomplete pass. I believe he was throwing it to Julius over there on the sidelines. Well, Clemmy Alcorn was initially open. I think when Cash saw him, Clemmy was going to cut back to open field. and Just one of those things you practice on and, and practice. And hey, it's early in the year. You know, got time to work all these small things out. I haven't seen anything that's just detrimental. We look really good tonight. Second 10 ball at the 21-yard line. Monquell Cox back in the tailback position. Here's a snap, and we will give it to Monquell. Monquell trying to get outside. Monquell Ooh, what a Cox. block. Monquell Cox still on his feet. Monquell Cox getting in zone. Touchdown, Monquell. Touchdown, Greyhounds. What a block by number 21, Julius Clark. Just absolutely cleaned the guy's clock. Is that a big hit of the week? That was a dandy. That was a dandy. <laughs> that poor old boy's going to wake up tomorrow morning and not know what happened. Another Bratcher Real Estate touchdown covering the real estate. 
Monquell Cox and Julius Clark with a great block in the offensive line doing their job, and the Hounds go up 18 to seven with a single to come. Ronald Noguez, the PAT is up, and it is good. Hounds lead it 19 to seven. Got three minutes and 16 seconds remain in the second quarter. El Puente Restaurant, you can call in, drive through and pick it up, or you can dine in. That's where all your friends and family, that's where they're eating. Great food. You'll never leave there hungry. Try the fajitas, the fajita taco salads, the fajita nacho supreme. Delicious lunch specials. Get some of the best tea in town and try the refreshing fruit punch. Excellent service. Come visit with your neighbors because that's where everyone in town is eating. El Puente, loving the hound. Looking for a bad boy mowers collision of the week. And Julius Clark, from an offensive standpoint, in the running at this stage and the George Cal Motor Company player of the game and the Subway Coaches Report immediately following the contest and that reminds me to remind you about Norman Baker Pharmacy, Mary Davison crew and their location at 2200 Malcolm with the former Kroger building and the new WRMC Medical Complex. Convenient drive through window. They can fill your prescription with generic drugs when possible to save you money. File insurance and medical drug reports for you. True quality service from friendly caring professionals. Norman and Baker Pharmacy supporting the Newport Greyhounds. And a Mark Martin Automotive kickoff coming right up. Check out their inventory at markmartinautomotive.com. Cash Force, another squib kick. Great kick, filling around the 15. Holding. Definite hold call. They, call and they will call it. He's still on his feet. And he's going to try to get outside. This one's coming back. A definite hold call on the outside. You know, looking at that makes me think that it, it happened earlier here on this other kickoff with Chris Reynolds. Well, there's no doubt that they had a guy just by his shoulder pads and had one of our guys. And a penalty flag came from the referee who's trailing the play. A couple of my good buddies out there tonight. Guy in the white hat. Obvious hold call and they will call it against Green County. You know, that helps the Greyhound so much, that field position, because uh, there's plenty of time left for these guys to go down and score. We don't want to give them that big play. I'll mark it at the 19 yard line. I say keep them down there on that end of the field. What do you say, Hayden? I love it. And then go score again for the Hounds. Let's do it. Green County going trips again to the far side. First and 10. Here is the snap, he bobbles it. Quarterback's just gonna have to keep it. He's hitting the backfield, great job by the Hounds. Great pursuit right there by the Greyhound defense. Number 51, along with number five, Plymy Alcorn. Zane Watkins, 51. Go, here, go. Bring up second and eight, ball at the 22 yard line. Here's the snap, quarterback drops back, gonna look to pass. He throws it, nobody's there. Great job by the secondary. Guy just threw up a prayer. That incomplete, it will stop the clock and bring up third down. Yeah, with well, 2.22 to play, that's a big play for us. We have three timeouts left, and you would suspect if they run the football here and come up short, have two timeouts left, only two timeouts left. And we may not use one. Third down and eight for Green County Tech. And a possession down here. Here's the snap, he will drop back, looking to pass. I'm gonna just throw it deep. Great coverage right there by Monquell Cox. Their feet get tangled on the play. Monquell was looking to make a play on the ball and got tangled up with the receiver. No flag. And the clock stops. 2-16. Hounds lead 19-7 with a chance to get the football back. I think just fielding the ball here, you get it at least at your 40. And if you get any return after that, Julius lines up at the 50. 
Very smartly so. And they will kick it away from him. Ball going to be marked at the 39-yard line. Excellent field position for the Hounds. Well, let me tell you what, a, a touchdown right here would be absolutely huge for the Newport Grounds, to say the least. Two minutes remain, the first half. Hounds lead it 19 to seven. First and 10 for the Hounds. Referees want to discuss it here. Got a flag over on the Newport sideline. False start on the offense. I didn't see anything. I Anyways, first and 15. Here's the snap. We'll go Clemmy up the middle. Clemmy Alcorn still on his feet. Tough running by Clemmy. Well, he runs the ball hard. He hits that hole and seems like he's always got two or three guys on his back. He got those five yards back, but we did have to use a down. So second down and 10 for the Hounds at the 39. The clock moving 140, how much? 147 and counting. Second and 10, here's the snap. Cash gonna look to pass. Cash has got the pocket. Zaywin Smith, great job, Zaywin. Gain of about eight on that play. Hounds look to go quick. Cash hurry up getting the play in from Bradley from the sideline. It's third down and about two. Minute 21 remaining here in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 19 to seven. We fumbled the snap. It looks like Cash is going to jump on it. Now the Hounds are going to have to call a timeout, and they do. On third down and two, and we can't execute the play right there, and we're going to lose yardage back to the 35. We're fourth down and six coming up. And we've been able to execute on these medium range downs tonight. Makes it a little tougher on fourth and six. We've got some plays. The split receivers just running six and seven yards and sitting down and waiting on the ball from Cash to come in. It's been a good play on the far side over there. The hitches and the outs have been open to short to medium range. And you might think that those guys might bite on one of those. You might run a quick one and a go. Try to get a score right here before half. You could try to throw one over the top here. Because you would think the corner would buy it. One free safety deep. Here's the snap. Cash is going to look to pass. Cash throws the hitch and the corner does buy. But Zaywin Smith comes up with it on first down. Just running over folks in the secondary. Zaywin is hit right when he catches that ball. Still stays on his feet to get out of bounds and the first down. It was a tremendous reception, but Cash Forster threw a dart. I mean a dart. Yeah, he's been excellent tonight. First and ten for your Greyhounds. Minute three remaining in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 19 to 7. Ball at the 24-yard line. They're knocking on the door here. Trip set to our sideline. Here's the snap. Cash is gonna roll out that way. Cash is looking. Cash is just gonna keep it. Great job, Cash Forster getting out of bounds. And it will stop the clock. The instinct of a veteran at quarterback right there. When you have nothing and you, you take something and make nothing. Awesome job, Cash. Nothing there, and he made a little, he made it. Yeah, he made five, yeah. Looks good running the football. Kind of got a little faster. He's moving well in the pocket, no doubt about it. Second to five, here's the snap. We'll go Monquill. Monquill up the middle, Monquill Cox, first down. Monquill finally brought down. Fighting forward for a first down as they move the chains. Can't really tell, but maybe near the 10. Only 11. Yeah, because they line up the chains over there. First down and 10 for the Hounds from the 11. There's a snap. Cash going to look to pass. Cash going to go to the end zone. He's got a man. 
and would just drop it. A touchdown pass dropped by the Hounds. Wide open and he dropped it. But that's part of it, that happens. It's a good shot, just a good shot by Cash, good throw, just a mm, tough play there. It's all right, Hounds. 40 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Hounds lead it 19 to seven. They are creeping in for another score. Let me go in motion. We're going to hand it off to Monquell. Monquell Cox still on his feet. Monquell cuts back. Monquell. Monquell tough running. Great job by Monquell Cox. 30 seconds left to go in the second half. And clock's still going to roll. Hounds will hurry up to the ball and try to. Well, they're down to 20. Hounds have a timeout. Third and three for the Hounds. Here's the snap. Cash is just going to hand it off to Monquell up the middle. Monquell Cox. Touchdown, Greyhound. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yes. Good job. Another Bratcher Real Estate. Touchdown for the Newport Greyhounds. Mary Reed, Carol Ann Young, Lawrence Sampson, Amanda Reynolds has joined, rejoined, I should say. Well, Mary's glad to have her back, and Amanda's glad to be back down there. Of course, Amanda. Does a lot of jobs throughout the community. What a job she does writing for the Newport Independent. Flag down. Looks like a false start on the Hounds. And it is. You can always join our radio broadcast with Kevin and all the gang on River Country 96.7. On the Sudbury app, the sounds of the hounds. Nice. Orlando still out there to kick the point after. Snap. Hold and it is up and it is good right down the middle for Rolando Noguez. Hounds lead it 26 to 7 with seven seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And it reminds me Dillinger Funeral Home at 2001 Highway 367 North. You know, it's a family owned business that spent more than 80 years putting people first and treating customers like family. We believe a well planned ceremony warms the soul and illuminates the memory. That's why we strive to help every family create a special ceremony that reflects the life of their loved one. Dillinger Funeral Home, a commitment to caring. Merchants and Planters Bank, main office, second Hazel Street. Visit them at mpbank.com. They have a north office also for online banking, e-statements, checkings and saving, loans and mortgages, investments, insurance, you name it all. Check them out down at the Solution Center or M&P Insurance Services on Front Wall Street in Newport. Merchants and Planners Bank. And a Mark Martin Automotive.com kickoff coming your way right here. 450 pre-owned automobiles. Check us out on the website. Cash Forrester, just a high kick, fielded right around the 16-yard line. He's going to try to get outside, and a great job by the Greyhounds. Who is that on that? Chris Reynolds and Spencer Murphy Chris on the Chris Reynolds. He's been involved in every kickoff this game. Chris is a player. He's a good little player. <laughs> He's a Sophomore. Player. Uh, look to hear that name more in the future. Two seconds remain here. You know, when you're a coach's son, you play with a little intensity. And when you're Coach Benny Reynolds' son, you play with a lot of intensity. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a compliment to Coach Reynolds. <laughs> Living the dream. We've talked about it for years with Coach and Amanda and the time of their lives. And they'll just take a knee to end the first half. Your Greyhounds lead it 26 to seven over the Green County Tech Eagles.
about a minute away from a second half action football game brought to you by St. Michael's Place at 1311 North Pecan Street, Newport. Their phone number is 870-523-9514. 24-hour nursing services facility with a restorative nursing program. Short-term rehab and therapy, long-term home-like environment, beautiful remodeled building. Be sure to watch us on the business spotlight on Cable 15 TV or Cable 15 and Cable15TV.com. Go have some St. Michael's Place and what an addition. Newport's own Gerald Carlisle uh, has become the uh the administrator out there, and he teams up with Jay Cox, and what a team that these guys make. Gerald both, uh, or Gerald and Jay both with it, uh, experience in the nursing home industry. Gerald is excited to be back in that type of business at St. Michael's Place, and so if you have him on Facebook, go over there to his page and wish him good luck for being named the administrator at St. Michael's Place there in Newport. Sonic Drive-In, their new location is 501 Highway 367 North. You know, you get burgers, fries, onion rings, many, many many different drink combinations and milkshake. Check out our entire menu at sonicdrive.com. Don't miss our happy hour from 2 to 4 each day for half-priced drinks. Sonic Newport offering a great opportunity for young people to go to work while attending high school or college. Sonic hires many of our local young people. We thank them for doing so and congratulations to Sonic for being a big part of Newport Greyhound football. We're just about ready to go with second half action. The Hounds leading this football game by the score of 26 to seven and guys your first half analysis Ben. Uh, as always there's some things we could work on some mental mental errors that we made but overall our offense looked great. Cash threw the ball well we're catching the ball well uh, and anytime you can pass the ball with success that opens up the run game just that much more. Mark Martin automotive kickoff make sure to kick off your fall with great savings on a huge selection of pre-owned cars trucks SUVs over 450 used vehicles in stock pre-owned with the pre-owned giant in northeast and north central Arkansas. Visit markmartinautomotive.com to see the selection of all their pre-owned inventory. Ron Onoguez for the kick. It's going to be fielded right around the 30. And that guy's going to cut back inside. He's still on his feet and he gets across right around the 40-yard line. Hard bit of running by that guy. Good pursuit by the Hounds. Uh, I thought that guy might have a chance to do something big there. Glad to see him stop him. Greyhound boosters include Amanda Reynolds, who's rejoined Bratcher Real Estate at 732 Malcolm Avenue. Give her a call at 217-2133. Brian Smith, agency manager, manager of Farm Bureau Insurance, supporting the hounds. Life insurance is one of those things you can't buy when you need it the most. Don't wait until it's too late to protect the ones you love. Let's talk Brian Smith at 206 North Harwood Street. First and 10 for the Eagles. Ball at the 41-yard line. Here's the snap. They're just going to hand it off up the middle. Tough running by the Eagles. Going to be close to a first down, if not. And they moved the chains. Coming out the second half, when you've got a score that's 26 to 7, you're up by three scores, you can have a little mental lapse from time to time until it kind of gets tight for you. You don't want this football game to get tight at all. So you need to be in there mentally and go. You don't want to get comfortable here. Just uh, learn, continue to work on the things that we need to work on and, and play ball like it's like we're even. Trips to the top of your screen for the Eagles. First and 10, ball at the 49-yard line. Here's the snap going back to him. Handoff. He's met. But tough run him once Phillips again. Among Clemmy Alcorn, among other Greyhounds on the tackle. Looks like a gain of about four. Could be second down and six for the Golden Eagles. You know, if you're on defense, you say that's too much. If you're on offense, you say good, good play. <laughs> Absolutely. Ball at the 45 yard line. For GCT. Or a little pistol here. Here's the snap, and they'll just hand it off weak side. Good open field tackle by Monquel Cox, but they will get a first down. He has a great tackle by Monquel. Come up one on one and bring the guy down. You don't want to come out at half and watch these guys just continuously move the chains. You're going to have to change up something, bring some pressure, some type of thing to get the momentum stopped. That's right. Got to stop this momentum right here before it gets started. 10-31 remaining in the third quarter. Hounds lead it 26-7 over the Eagles. Come on, Hounds. First and 10, ball at the 38-yard line, trips to the far side. 
Here's the snap. Quarterback's just going to throw the tunnel. That ball's live. And they will call it incomplete. No whistle, whistle initially. And the Hounds jumped on it, but they're going to call it incomplete. They'll call it incomplete. Brandon Bennett, Benish, Modern Woodman of America, 106 South State Street, making a positive impact in our community. 870-217-3684, being part of something bigger than yourself. That's Brenda Benish. It was an incomplete pass, and the officials oh. respot the ball. I had him second and 11. At the 38, kind of hard to lose one on a <laughs> incomplete pass. pass. Oh. Second and 10 for the Eagles. Trips once again, here's the snap. Quarterback's just gonna keep it right. Great job by Dalton Phillips to make that tackle. That's how you play the option right there. You take away the pitch man and you, you got a guy there to stalemate the quarterback. Good job, Hounds. Third down and about six for the Eagles. Yeah, from the 34. Big third down for the Greyhound defense right here. Come on, Hounds. They're playing a football game right here, no doubt. We talk about a lot of momentum play. A momentum play here, yes. 9.38 remaining in the third quarter. Trips once again. Here's the snap, and there goes that option play. Quarterback has nowhere to go, no. and he's going to cut it back up into the meat. Great job. Alex Emery did a great job right there, and to bring it back in to the meat of the play. Had some trouble last week with that with the option. Obviously, as you can tell on that play, that we came in and we worked on that. Coach Hinesley has these guys ready to play. Nine. Big fourth down and four right here for Green County. Watch the football first. Don't give them the cheap one. Nine minutes remaining in the third quarter. Here's the snap quarterback roll to his left. He's looking. He throws it. An incomplete pass. Great job, Big Julius time Clark. Stop. Big time stop by the Hound defense. That's what it takes. You've got to have those fourth down stops. Uh, to win, win games. They say, you know, offense will win you games, but defense wins championships. It was just a pretty good route there by those guys and a pretty good toss, but great coverage by the Hounds. But the ball will turn over on down, so the Newport offense will come back on for their first offensive possession of the second half. Hey, JT Haynes was on the coverage there. I, I, I looked and saw the two, and I just thought immediately Julius Clark, but JT Haynes, great job right there to get his hand and break that up. Cash threw the football exceptionally well. The offensive line blocked very well, and we caught it pretty well, too. Monquell was dangerous. And Monquell up the middle. Monquell Cox, tough running. Hit at the line of scrimmage and may get one, depending on the spot. Be second down and nine with the ball on the 33-yard line. 8.26 remaining, clock continues to roll. Hounds lead it 26 to seven over the Eagles. There's the snap, Cash gonna look to pass, they bring pressure, he's got a man. And Zaywood Smith, just a little low right there and Zaywood doesn't come up with it, incomplete. I care RX Pharmacy, 1117 McLean Street, Newport. Eric and Katrina Schaffner, full service pharmacy, including specialty compounds, large over the counter medications, vitamin and supplies, medical supply store, free delivery. Let us help you be well at 523-5555. Third down and nine from the 33 yard line. Trips to the top of the screen. Cash gonna roll out to his right. Cash is looking. Cash is gonna throw it. It just overthrown through the hands of Julius Clark. Yeah, he just a uh, good thrown ball. Julius went up to catch it and couldn't come down with it. A little high, uh, but, you know, that's part of it. Like we said earlier, you can't complete all of them. Hounds look like they will punt here. 8.07 remaining in the third quarter. Hounds lead it 26-7. to Probably and obviously not the start that Coach John Bradley wanted to have. Craig Falwell going to be the deep snapper for the Greyhounds. Cash Forster will be punting. Good snap. Great punt. Going to hit right at the 35-yard line. Craig's going to be the first one down there, and great job to not let them return it. 
Craig is down there first every single time. And as a deep snapper, they can't hit him when his head's down. So he has an advantage, and he hustles, and he works hard and gets down there every single punt. Good job, Craig Falwell. Great punt for Cash Forrester there. Ball's going to be right around the 23-yard line. Yeah, 44, 45 yards. Was a great low spiral that is not returnable at all. Come on, defense. Let's get it back right here. Trips to the bottom of your screen for Green County. First and 10 for the Eagles. Try to go offsides play. Hounds do not fall for it. Here's the snap and just a handoff up the middle. Great job by the Greyhound defense once again. Played well with a gain of only two, maybe three on the play. It'll be second down and seven for the Golden Eagles. Bad boy Moore hit of the week. We had one earlier in the first half. Julius Clark. Boy, and he was a dandy. Woo. Subway coaches report in the George Cal Motor Company star of the game at the conclusion of the broadcast. 7.31 remains. The Hounds lead it 26-7 as the clock continues to roll. Second and seven for the Eagles. Here's the snap, just the quarterback option. He fakes and he's met. Great job right there. Julius Pruitt's going to be the first one to wrap him up, and then here comes the swarm. And that is how you defend the option. Great job by the Hound defense right there. Had a lot of orange hats around there, and that's what you got to have. Bring up a third down and short seven or long six. Clock continues to move. Third quarter action. Hounds up 26-7. Need a big stop right here, guys. Third and seven ball to 26 yard line. Here's the snap, and just an underneath handoff. He's met by Clemmy Alcorn, and it looks like Clemmy just got the football. The Hounds are going to score defensively. Let's see. Touchdown, Graham. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He just took the ball away from the guy. Got a man down for Green County Tech. Or oh, that may be a Greyhound, is it? Or is that a Tech player? That's that's a Tech player. Hounds will get a score. Had an underneath reverse. And it looks to me like Clemmy just took the ball away from him. Hounds will line up for an extra point. We'll tell you more about Dell McChristian here in just a little bit, the Green County Tech player that was down on the play. Hounds are in motion right there, and they're going to get a five-yard penalty. Dell McChristian, they carried off uh, off the field, had some type of spinal, not necessarily an injury, but uh, we hope and pray for the best for that young man. Dale McChristian, but he took a big hit and he finally got him in the ambulance and it took about 20 minutes or so to do so. Snap, hold, and kick. Rolando Noguez right down the middle. Your Newport Greyhounds 33, Green County Tech Eagles 7. Anytime there's a neck or back or I guess you'd say spine injury or chance of that, the, you always want to be real careful. They're going to be very careful in making sure that they don't move him or, or do more damage to him after the fact. Yeah, very precautionary. And uh, we certainly, again, our thoughts and prayers with the young man. And he did take a pop. And uh, anyway, I'm sure we won't have a report for you before the end of the football game. But we'll be praying for that young man throughout the week. Mark McGoy Farms. McGoy Family Farms, proud to be a part of the great Greyhound tradition. McGoy salute the 2018 Newport Greyhounds. Doyle Family Farms also saluting the hounds. The Doyle family extremely involved in a Greyhound program from Pee Wee to Senior High Hounds. Go Hounds from the Doyle Family Farms. It's another kickoff coming up, sponsored by Mark Martin Automotive.com. 450 automobiles to choose from. Mark Martin Automotive brings you the kickoff. Rolando Noguez with a high kick, and it's fumbled around. We'll see who's going to jump on it. And the Eagles will get on it right around the 34-yard line. 
Warren. I want to remind everybody, 6.22 to play here in the third quarter, and it's 33-7 in favor of the Hounds. These guys set up shop first down and 10 inside the 35 there somewhere, 32, 33-yard line. And the official sets it for play. First and 10 for the Eagles. Hounds look to bring pressure. Here's the snap. Quarterback's going to keep it. Quarterback, great running by 32 for Green County. Boy, that kid's just a hard-nosed kid. Uh, when he gets the ball, he just lowers his shoulder and, and runs over you. A little short Gain of the first nine. down. Yeah, yeah. Big run by Tech, second one. Ball at the 42-yard line for GCT. Here's the snap. Quarterback's going to fake. He's going to keep it again. He's just going to go up the middle. He's met by a host of pounds. But he will get the first down. Yeah, great pursuit on the uh, Greyhound defense, but just not enough to stop him. They're going to move the chains and give him a first down. 5.41 remaining as the clock continues to roll. Hounds lead it 33-7. to Ball be marked at the 45-yard line for Green County Tech. There's snap. Quarterback's going to drop back. In the middle looks to pass. He pump fakes and then just throws up a prayer. And JT Haynes almost intercepted. Played well by the Hound defense there. That'll bring up second down and 10. Churchman Building Center, Ace Hardware. We're more than just a building center. You can get paint, carpet, Carhartt clothing to go along with everything you need for building projects from minor repairs to major renovations. Think Ace is the place, Highway 367 North in Newport, the Churchman family. All still at the 45 yard line, pistol formation for the Eagles. There's a flag on the play. Appears to be a false start. That is what they'll call. Back them up. Second down and 15 now from the 40. Iberia Bank, Billy Keaty, and all the crew at 200 Olivia Drive here in Newport offering all types of banking services. They say good luck to Coach Mark Hinesley in the Newport Grands. Iberia Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Second and 15 ball at the 40 yard line. Here's the snap and he's gonna look to pass. He's gonna throw a dart seven just through his hands and they're gonna throw a flag late. Not sure what the flag would be for. Hits the kid's hands first and then we make a play on the football. So you don't think Pass interference, Green County Tech has a player down. Another player shaking up. We'll just keep it right here. He's going to be okay, I'm pretty sure. But to conserve battery, because we're working on battery tonight, we will pause. Young man's going to be okay. He's going to come off the field with some assistance, but it was helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. And while we were gone, that's a 15-yard penalty. And then they threw another flag, and let's see what the second flag is for. And number five, Clemmy Alcorn was ejected. Yeah, for the helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. I don't know that I saw that. Well, the first down and 10 from the 45-yard line, so apparently the second flag was maybe picked up from, a, you know, 10 yards away and thrown on top of the other flag. First down and 10 for Green County Tech at the 45-yard line with five minutes to play in the third quarter. 33-7 to seven as they're scoring. That young man's going to be okay. Still waiting on something. I have no idea what we're waiting on now. 
White hat. So here we go. First and 10 for Green County. On the 45 yard line, here's a snap. He will roll out to his right. He's got a man that goes right through his hands. Pretty good coverage by the Hounds. Traz Smith will check into the ball game for the Greyhounds at inside the linebacker. Yeah, when Clemmy goes out, Clemmy was in there because of the injury last week. Bring up second and 10. Ball at Green County 45 yard line trips to this side. Here's the snap. Quarterback will look to pass and he just throws it up. Nobody there. Incomplete pass. Tyler Four, Johnson. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead, Ben. 4.52 remaining in the third quarter. Hounds lead it 33-7. And a third down and 10 coming up. The Graham football game brought to you by good friend Rick Bass at Howard's Glass Company. Carrying on the great tradition of Howard Bass of quality glass door and window needs. Fast, friendly, affordable service. We'll get the job done quickly for you at Howard's Glass. 367 North of Newport. 523-3771. Big Rick Slick Bass. Third and ten after the incomplete pass for Green County Tech. Looks like the Hounds are going to bring pressure. Quarterback still looking, still on his feet, and he's just finally going to keep it. Dalton Phillips is going to hit him and then finally going to get him out of bounds Good. short of first down. Got some more flags on the field here. Looks like some extracurricular. As I think that's going to be a late hit on Tech. You got to get this thing under control now before it gets out of control. And, uh, uh, both teams just need just need to quit. I know it's getting a little chippy here. Try to sort out this flag, and it looks like it will be on Green County. Hey, you bring it back to the line of scrimmage and penalize them from there, so it takes away the huge gain and marks them up. Marches them back 10 yards to their own 45-yard line. Be third down and 20. Uh, it'll be a loss of down on the fourth down and 20, excuse me. And that is a punting situation. Sam Nicholson Farms supporting Greyhound Athletics for over four generations and more on the way the Nicholson Family Farms. Julius Clark will set up deep his own territory, 25-yard line it looks like. Well, Green County got another punter in. A little confusion. They will get the snap off. A good punt by that kid. And it's going to take a good roll for them. And Clark's going to pick it up right around the end zone. Julius Clark. Julius Clark. Brought down around the 15-yard line. And three, four, five penalty flags thrown. And then there's some shoving going on after the play. I didn't see what happened initially. I looked up and saw number 50, I believe, for Green County Tech grabbing one of our guys. Looked like by the face mask. Well, when you have as many flags as you have that's on the field here, it's multiple fouls, and these guys are trying to get it under control. But there's just a lot of animosity. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. It's gone. I think it's going to be on Chippy. Yeah. yeah. In a game like this, when you've been scoring 50-something points against your opponents, and you they, you know, the Greyhounds have held them to seven tonight. It's probably a little frustrating. You lose a couple players. Uh, you know, football's a game of emotion. Offset penalties, and that's a plus for the Greyhounds. Fair enough. We'll come back and do it again. You could just feel it though when Julius fielded that ball and he had to run way back. He said, well, this kid's out, kicked the coverage. Julius is fixing to take it 98 yards for a score. Just one of those type plays when that normally, not normally, but that's when it could happen. You get a wall set up, but it wasn't meant to be there. 
We'll redo it again, fourth and 20. For Green County, Julius Clark gonna go back to the 15 yard line now. Good snap, there's the punt. It'll hit at the 20 and it'll go over Julius's head and go into the end zone. Oh, a great punt there, 60, 55 yard punt, I guess. Or Where's this guy been? <laughs> Where's he been all night? I agree with you. No flags on the play, but there is some little shoving and pushing after the after the whistle there. It's gonna have to stop. Lou Allen and Company, Lou Allen Family and Company for accounting services, tax preparation and planning management, consulting services and payroll, representing three generations of Greyhounds located at 407 Walnut Street. Call 523-6764 if you need Larry Lou Allen and crew. BNT Battery, the battery guys, Neil and Keith, you, they handle all types of batteries for your automobile, for a boat, for an ATV, golf carts, yeah, we do those do batteries too for those golf carts. We do sales and service on golf carts, so come see the battery guys at BNT Battery 523 2758. They're located at 2400 Highway 67. First and 10, ball at the 20 yard line. Going to throw the hitch to Zaywin Smith. Zaywin Smith down the sideline. First down and more. Great job, Zaywin Smith. What a play. Just, just perfect pass by Cash and awesome reception there by Zaywin Smith. Great game for the Hounds. Uh oh, another flag. Let's just keep our mouth shut, guys, and go back to the huddle and play football. 27 continues to mouth as he comes off the field. Well, it's unsportsmanlike conduct on Green County Tech. And again, Ben, as you mentioned, and, and rightfully so, these guys are a little frustrated. Playing a classification under them, two classifications under them. And... and are accustomed to scoring 50 plus. Just hadn't been there night. Just hadn't been there night. Mark Manning, Shelter Insurance, Auto, Home, Life, Business Renters, Wear Your Shield, Wear Your Shelter, located at 1400 Malcolm, 523-6514, Shelter Insurance. First and 10 from the 45, 44 yard line. Here's the snap, and we'll go Theron Davis to the side. Theron Davis runs over, got Theron Davis. Tough running right there by Theron Davis. Boy, he lowered his shoulder on that one. Something I haven't seen from him this year. Well, most of the time he's not being touched because that's of his exactly feet. right. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> Pretty good game. I give him six on the play. Make it second down and four for the Hounds. From 343 the remaining as the clock continues to move here in the third quarter. Ball at the 38 yard line for the Hounds. Going in. Here's the snap. Play action, Cash gonna fling it out to Julius and it's right through his hands. He's played well by Green County Tech on that one. Well, Cash was under a little duress. We missed a block. Normally he'll roll that way and that play takes a little time for it to develop and we didn't have a lot of time for it to develop then because of the rush of the defensive interior. So third down in about four. Coach Ben Reynolds and Mark McGee, junior high head football coach Mark McGee in the box again. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. He's got time. Cash is just going to throw it deep over Julius' head. One of the few times tonight that we've had a couple of overthrows, but overall Cash has been sensational. Cash money, Forrester. Fourth down and four. 33 to seven, the Hounds lead here in the third quarter. The Hounds look to go for it. Here's the snap and we'll go Theron outside. Theron Davis just trying to get outside. Theron Davis, and he's gonna be brought down short of the first down. Great pursuit by Green County there. Give those guys credit, they just made a play on that one. I like the call because Theron's the guy that can get it to the corner and take it the distance. Looked like he had plenty of room, but those guys just made a play there. So credit the defense for Green County Tech. Yeah, turnover on downs. 
3.13 remaining here in the third quarter. Hounds lead it 33-7 over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. First and 10 for the Eagles. Ball at the 36-yard line. And they go we long count sides. and we jump off. Well, you've got a lot more, uh, a lot more to pick from at first and five than you do first and ten. It really opens up the playbook and throw the football. You can run it here. Yeah, if you get none, it's like getting five on first down. So that diamond package for Green County. Here's the snap. It's just going to be a handoff. And he'll be brought down. Referee was ran over there. It's going to be short of a first down. We're about second down and one. A short one. Two forty-eight. The clock continues to roll here in the third quarter. Ball at the forty-five. Here comes motion far side. Here's the snap and handoff to that side where he is met. Ooh. Lane Watkins just stuffed by the Greyhound defense. Big hit. I'm talking about a huge bad boy mower hit of the week. Zane Watkins right there coming from his left defensive end position, trending down the line of scrimmage, fighting off blockers, and he nailed the guy. Got a first down, but boy, I tell you what, he paid the price. Bring up first and 10. Green County looks to go quick. Ball at the 40. Seven yard line. Hounds look to bring pressure. Here comes motion. Here's the snap, and they fake, and he's going to roll out to his left, looking to pass, and he's going to throw it. And it incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. Played well by the Greyhound defense there. Hounds getting a little penetration there when you can penetrate, put a little pressure on the quarterback. Quarterback had to roll away from the pressure. Yeah, anytime you disrupt his timing or get him out of his comfort zone, you're winning. Second down and 10 from the 47. 218 remaining here in the third quarter. Hounds lead it 33 to 7. Trips to the bottom of your screen. 17 coming in motion. Fakes the jet sweep. Quarterback's going to keep it up the middle. He's still on his feet and he's finally brought down by the Greyhounds. Again, that hard nosed quarterback, he just tucks it and gets what he can get. Nice little play there. Good read by their quarterback. Brings up third down and three. Ball across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Third and three for Green County. Trips to the top of the screen. Here's the snap and just a handoff. And great job by the defense. Alex Emery was hit him in the backfield, tripped him up. And it looks like they will get the first down. Green County doing something a little different, going quick, no huddle. Yeah. Getting up there and calling the play as quick as possible. When you're in this situation, you just try to figure out anything you can do different. And first and 10 for Green County. Here's the snap, fakes the handoff. Quarterback's going to keep it again. Quarterback's still on his feet. At 32 for Green County has ran the ball tremendously all night long. Just like I've been saying all night, he's a hard-nosed kid. Uh, he's not scared to tuck the ball and run. He's not a small kid, not just really big, but, you know, just lower that shoulder and, and get what you can get. Hard to defend that. First and 10, Green County Tech ball at the 33-yard line. Here's the snap, and it's just a handoff to 35 up the middle where he's met by Alex Emery. Boy, just I gotta commend our, our front guys tonight. A lot of them are playing both ways and I know they get tired, and, but man, they have just really hung in there tonight and played hard. Pick up a seven, clock moving down to a minute in the third quarter. He got seven, second down and three from the 26 yard line going in for Tech. Trips again to the top of the screen. Here's the snap fake. Quarterback's gonna keep it once again. He'll get another first down. Glass Plus located at 
1110 Highway 367 North, handling residential, commercial, and automotive glass, doing mirrors, screens, prints, picture framing, and auto glass repair and replacement, 523-3505 at Glass Plus. And the Hounds call a timeout here right before the third quarter ends. Coach Hines is going to talk it over. Well, one, of, one of the things that you want to do here is you want to talk, you want to say, guys, look, they're, they're driving the football down. They're getting chunks of yardage at a time, not 20 and 30, but they're getting six, seven, eight yards on a carry. we got to buckle down right here. We've got to bow our backs a little bit. We've got to play assignment football. You've got to do what we've taught you all week now. We don't want to let these guys score right here. You get the score and the onside kicks, and then here we go. But uh, I think a very good timeout by Coach Mark Hinesley and his staff. And, you know, talk about a great staff. John, you mentioned John Bradley, and of course, Coach Reynolds up here, and then Mark McGee and David Smith. Colton Lowry, Newport's own Colton Lowry on our staff this year. He coaches in junior high school. Welcome addition to the Greyhound staff. Welcome back, Colton Lowry. Colton Major. Rashad Billingsley and LeVar White also helping out two other Greyhounds. A couple of great Greyhounds that have come back on, on, on a volunteer basis and working in the system. And boy, you're talking about good guys and great guys for our kids. Those guys are for sure. First and 10 ball at the 21. Here's the handoff up the middle. He's on his feet and inside the 10 yard line. You know, we talk about it a lot, uh, the momentum swing. You know, they get a couple guys hurt, everybody takes a break a little bit, slows the thing, slows the game down. Uh, and, you know, here they, they run the ball here for about you know, 40 yards, 40 to 50 yards, and they're on a roll. Green County, hurry up and get to the line. First and goal ball at the seven-yard line. Trips to the top of the screen once again. Here's the snap, and they'll hand it off again. And he's met. Great job by the Hounds. Didn't get much there. Give him one, if any. That'll bring up second down and about seven. A second and goal from right here. Here's the snap, just the quarterback keep once again. He's met in the backfield. He stays on his feet, and he's going to get the end zone. Touchdown, Green County. We initially had him in the backfield, did a great job, but you can't you can't arm tackle a kid of that size. Like we said earlier, he's not a huge kid. He's probably 215, 220. But very physical runner. Not scared to lower the shoulder, not scared to get in there and, and tangle with you. Well, again, we talked about it all night. These guys are averaging over 50 points a game, and that's just their 13th point of the night. Snap, hold, and kick is up for Green County, and it is good. The Eagles 14, your Newport Greyhounds 33. And the football game brought to you by WRMC Medical Complex in Newport. Specialty care satellite clinic with cardiology, general surgery, obstetrics, gynecology, orthopedic care, and wound care. And their weekend clinic Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The White River Health System, the care you need where you need it. Football game also brought to you by Sam's Diner located on... Uh, Second Street, Yellow Building. We talk about the great meals that they serve at Sam's Diner. Lunch and breakfast. Sam's Diner. It's a good place to eat lunch, folks. Great meal. 42 Sports. Alan Russell, Facebook Media, supporting smaller schools and the Greyhound football games. Also played back there. Jackson's Funeral Home at the 1900 block of Malcolm Avenue. White River Area Agency on Aging at 1200 Highway 367 North. Ben Black's Lawn Care and Sprinkler System in MPOC, Medical Park Orthopedic, the Orthopedic Sports and Medicine Clinic at the White River Health System in Batesville. That's Dr. J.D. Allen, Jeff Angel, Dr. Dylan Carpenter, and Dr. Wesley Greer. Here's the kick, and they will go onside. And it's a good one, and it'll go out of bounds. Boy, that was a good kick. That, that was, was a really good kick. Until they've worked on that. All the guys were in the right position. The ball just happened to take a bounce out, out of bounds. Hounds get the benefit of where the ball goes out of bounds there if it crosses from our 35 and up that way. So we'll have it right on the 50-yard line as opposed to the 35. Like it. One second remaining here in the third quarter. The Greyhounds lead it 33-14 to 14 over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. First and 10, Monquell Cox coming to that tailback position. Here's the snap, and we will go Monquell up the middle. Monquell still on his feet. 
Bonquil finally brought down for a gain of about one to end the third quarter. Yeah, uh, just that quarter was a real slow quarter, had a couple injuries. Uh, it's just kind of hard to get our bearings back down here as we go into the fourth. Let's go, Hounds. Farmers Tire Mart at 1501 Malcolm Avenue. Tires for cars, trucks, tractors, trailers, ATV, and lawnmowers. And the Bank of England Mortgage Company. If you're looking for a home loan, I recommend Kenny Thaxton. He's at the Village Mall. And NEDC, Newport Economic Development Commission. And what a job those guys do for our community. And thanks to John Chadwell and the crew. And also to the Chamber of Commerce, Julie Allen, and all the crew. Crystal and Courtney down there also. Unity Health Harris Medical Center located at 1205 McLean Street. Don't forget about the Greyhound luncheons each Monday. With Coach Hansley and Coach Bradley talk about this week's ball game and look forward to next week's. And the City of Newport, the Recycling Center. Also by El Puente Restaurant. You can call in, drive through, pick it up, or you can dine in. Delicious lunch specials at El Puente. All right, guys, we have 12 minutes to play. We've got a 19-point lead, 33-14. to 14. We're up three scores, and we need to move the football. Fourth quarter is what it's all about. Second down and nine here for the Hounds. Ball's on the 49-yard line. Here's the snap. Cash going to look to pass. Throws the hitch route. J.T. Haynes. Great job, J.T. Haynes. And I believe it's going to be enough for a first down for the Hounds. All night long, we're catching the ball. We're getting downfield. That's what you've got to have from your receivers. Uh, just keep those chains moving. Well, what a toss by Cash and good yardage after the catch. First down and 10 for the Greyhounds at the 40-yard line, going in. Haynes will come in motion. Here's the snap, and we'll go Monquell that side. Monquell cuts it back up. Monquell cut back. Monquell outside, and Monquell still on his feet. Monquell, Cox, touchdown. Man, he just saw that seam, and he took it back upfield. And just an excellent job of running by the Greyhounds. 40-yard touchdown from Monquell Cox, and he got great blocking, but he found a little seam, found the alley back to his left, and outran the corner on that side who had he had a little angle on him, but he wasn't going to catch him. He goes 40 for the touchdown. It's a great response to the touchdown that Green County Tech just had. Rolando Noguez for the point after. Craig Falwell will be doing the deep snapping. Spencer Murphy will be doing the hold. Snap, hold, and kick is up, and it is good. Rolando Noguez. Hounds Rolando. 40 to 14. A great answer by the Hound offense right there. And just you love the play calling. You know, John got the ball out on the perimeter. You know, he loosened those guys up. The passing game, especially the short game, we've had some uh, several long passes. And we've thrown the ball deep down the field on several occasions now, even though we didn't complete it. So those guys have got to honor that. And that little quick out has just been open and it's been there all night long. So just a pretty good effort and a great offensive series for the Hounds. Well, the speed from the Greyhound offense when we keep getting outside and outside and outside. And then right there is a good example. You over pursue defensively because you do not want that kid to get outside. He just sticks his foot in the ground like we said earlier. He can go east to west just as quick as he can go north to south. 11.35 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Hounds prepare to kick it off. The, yeah, the Hounds used 26 seconds to score. They ran one play with one second to go and then 25 seconds of that. Rondo Noquez will kick it off. A high kick fielded right around the 24-yard line. They'll set up their turn, try to get outside. He has room. He's still on the outside. James Dixon's going to try to hawk him down. Green County Tech is getting the end zone touchdown. You know, they just set up that wall. Uh, good execution on their part. They had the blockers where they needed to be, and the guy just took advantage of it and just took it to the house. 40 to 20. Don't count these guys out. We cannot get comfortable right here. We've just got to continue to move the football and try to slow them down on offense. you think these guys would go for two here to make it a two-possession game, but looks like they'll go for one.
11-21 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The score is 40-20, awaiting the extra point from Greene County Tech. Having some personnel issues from the Golden Eagles. Snap and the kick is up. It is good. So can the Hounds answer again at a 40 to 21 game, a 19 point lead. Well, they scored a touchdown earlier tonight after a long kickoff return. Green County Tech with a late spark here in the fourth quarter. These guys are not going to quit. Well, they've got a little momentum right here, even you know trailing by 19. But the Hound offense just you know they answered just a while ago, so we'll see what we can do here. You got to continue to play, and you got to continue to expect another onside kick here for Green County. Yeah, I would say so. And we are playing it that way. Make sure that the ball goes 10 yards and make sure that you can secure it. Not concerned with a return here. Here's the onside kick and 54 will drop on it for the Hounds. That's the way you play it. You just fall on it and take what you can get. Hounds will start around midfield. 11-19 remaining. Score is your Newport Greyhounds 40, Green County Tech 21. Jabraylon Brown going to jump on that onside kick. Well, good hands by Jabraylon. And great field position for the Hound offense. You know, you never notice that guy, not him, but the, the guy recovering the onside kick until you don't recover it. That's correct. Then you notice that guy. <laughs> That's correct. You're absolutely right. Ball in place at the 49, first and 10 for the Hounds. Here's the snap. We'll go Theron Davis to the left. Theron Davis trying to get outside. Theron Davis showing the speed, and he cuts back. Theron Davis still outside. Theron Davis getting the end zone touchdown. I what think, an answer. I think one guy touched him, maybe. What an answer. What an answer. 49 yards for the score. What an answer by Theron Davis in the Newport offense. He looks extremely comfortable back there running that football. He just, he's just a natural. Man, the speed. He just outran that last man and just beat him beat him to the goal line. I believe that's 54 seconds, three touchdowns. Wow, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yes, sir. That is right. Yes, sir. Here's the snap. Spencer Murphy's just going to keep it high snap. Spencer's going to dive in, and he's going to be brought down short. No good on the two-point try. What effort. Tremendous effort there by the Hounds. Tremendous effort. 46 to 21, and we have to kick to these guys again. And our kick coverage has got to get a little better. Eleven oh seven to play here in the football game, and the Greyhound football game brought to you by our good friends at Norman Baker Pharmacy, Mary Davison Crew. Convenient drive through window, 870-523-9472. Monica and all the crew down there. And the Dillinger Funeral Home. Family-owned business has spent more than 80 years putting people first and treating customers like family. Tommy Allen crew at the Dillinger Funeral Home. And Merchants and Planners Bank, the main office, 2nd Hazel Street in Newport. And the North Office. Other locations throughout Northeast and North Central Arkansas. Our bank of choice, Merchants and Planners Bank. And St. Michael's Place at 1311 North Pecan Street, 523-9514. And another Mark Martin Automotive kickoff coming right up. And here we go. Check out their inventory on markmartinautomotive.com. Rolando Nogue is going to kick it deep to the 18-yard line. They'll try to get outside once again. He'll cut back. And he's brought down right around the 34-yard line. There is a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be on Green County Tech. They're talking about it at the 30-yard line, so let's... And a holding call on Green County. Mm -hmm. 
So it'll be first down and 10 near the 20. Forty-six to twenty-one is our score. Ten fifty-nine remaining here in the fourth quarter. First and ten, ball on the twenty-yard line for the Eagles. It's going to be a false start on Green County. We'll take them. Yards that you give up are yards you will never get back. Absolutely. Justin Simmons in the football game for the Hounds. It's that nose guard position. They get first and 15 after the penalty. Here's the snap fake. Quarterback's gonna keep it up the middle. And he's hit, but then he breaks the tackle, and he's still on his feet across the 35. Going to be brought down around the 40-yard line. Number 62, Justin Simmons on the tackle. Yeah, way to go, Jetty. That's hustling. Yeah, from the nose man. Yeah, no doubt. To the 40, first down and 10 there. Big play for Green County. These guys won't go away. 10-50 to play in the game. They're not going to. They're a tough group of kids. Uh, got some size to their advantage. And they're going to play hard until it's over. First and 10 trips to the top of the screen. Trying to go long count. Does it full the hounds. Here's the snap, and they'll hand it off up the middle. Once again, tough running. Green County Tech having some success running the football here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they're getting in chunks now where they were getting five and six earlier. Now they're getting 10 and 12. Just got to slow them down and play our game. First down and 10. Ball is about midfield. Got 10-25 remaining in the fourth quarter. Clock continues to roll. Motion to the bottom of the screen, and there's the jet sweep, 13, trying to get outside, and great job, James Dixon. What a job by James Dixon on the outside contain. Coach Hinesley talks about it all the time. You just cannot get beat outside. Herbert, U Herbert Lewis, former defensive coordinator, and great defensive coordinator for the Greyhounds, used to play that. He used to have his kids play that, and there were very few times when you got around the end. Happy retirement, Coach Lewis. Second and seven, here comes motion. Fakes it, quarterback's gonna keep it up the middle. It's played good. well by the Hounds. He's getting two or three at least every time he carries it. 62 again. Nine fifty-five. clock continues to roll here in the fourth quarter. Hounds lead it 46 to 21 over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. Third and three for the Eagles. Trips again to the top of the screen. Expect that quarterback draw again. Long count, Hounds do not fall forward. Here's the snap and they'll hand it off up the middle. Played well by the Hounds. Great job Zane Watkins and Julius Pruitt. It's gonna bring up fourth and short. I lost a yard there. This is what it's all about, guys. Fourth down stops. You've got to have the fourth down stops from a defensive standpoint. Nine minutes and 12 seconds remain. Clock continues to roll here in the fourth quarter. Hounds lead it 46 to 21. Come on, defense. Need a play right here, guys. There's the snap quarterback will roll out to his right. Great job by the Hound defense. Played excellent. Julius Clark puts pressure on the quarterback. Spencer Murphy knocks the ball down in the secondary. Just played perfect. Great job, Hounds. Big time stop for the Greyhounds. Stop for the Hounds. The Hound offense will come back on the field. We've got plenty of time to put points on the board, but more importantly, we want to run some clock here. You'd really like your position right here if you score a touchdown if you're a Greyhound fan. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. Yeah, whether it's one play or 12 plays. It allows you to catch your breath a little bit and just relax. I'm sure the Hounds will try to chew some clock here. 
Yeah, look to slow it down, a little dive, a little, uh, little draw play. Tremendous offensive game plan coming in, guys. No Tremendous doubt. Tremendous offensive game plan. We've attacked what they don't do well. And we've executed well. Here's the snap. We'll go Monquell up the middle. Monquell Cox. Monquell Cox is going to get outside. Monquell across the 40, across the 30. Monquell Cox is finally hit right around the 20 yard line. They run him out of bounds at about the 20. Tough running there by Monquell Cox. The kid, all of our guys have lightning speed in the backfield and stand a chance to go the distance every time they touch the football. Yeah, about 36 yards there on his total. Not good for eight o'clock, but not bad for the offense. There you go. <laughs> I'll take that play anytime. First down and 10. The ball is on the 20 yard line. Monquell still in the ball game at the tailback. Long count. The Eight. Eagles don't fall for it. 8.43 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Here's the snap. Monquell up the middle. Monquell trying to let it develop. Monquell be brought down to the line of scrimmage. Snuffed out by the Green County Tech defense there. Just a good play. Give those guys credit. That'll bring up second down and 10. Eight twenty-one remaining. Clock continues to roll. Hounds lead it, forty-six to twenty-one over the Eagles. Congratulations to Gerald Carlisle, recently named the administrator at St. Michael's Place at thirteen eleven North Pecan Street, Newport. He and Jay Cox will do a great job for them. And Task Force is going to be brought down. It'll be a sack. He stepped up in the pocket to evade the first guy, and there were just two other guys there that he could not get away from. 7.53 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And Green County will call a timeout. Yeah, he first pointed toward Newport, and I went, no, we didn't call timeout, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he would. Yeah, as you really look at this football game, and the Hounds, I mean, it looked like been in control since early in the game. Looked like they were the better football team, and then all of a sudden, you, you know, you get back and they – they cut it, they, you know, we score, they score, or they score, we score, and we score, they score, and it's a lot closer. It's been a lot closer game than what the score reflects at this time. The Hams lead 46 to 21. Most importantly, the Hams just need a victory here tonight. Hayden, you got any stats for us? I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get you some stats. Well, we'll I, I believe Monquell Cox has got to have over 100. Oh, there's no doubt. <laughs> yeah, he and Theron both of it, and I know Cash has probably got. 150 throwing the ball. Maybe. What happened the last time the Greyhounds started 0 and 1? 11 and 3. <laughs> there you go. Semi-finalist. I'll take it. I'll take it. Third and 18 for the Hounds. Cash gonna look to pass. Cash gonna throw out to the flats and Terry wow. Davis. What a play there, and Davis, and then runs again over. Running people over in the secondary. Jumps up, makes an awesome catch, and just, man, the athletic ability of that kid right there. Great job there, and Davis. He's close to a first down, maybe a little short, depending on the spot. And they're going to give it to us. They give it a first down and call it first and goal then. Cash Forrester has been very, very, very good tonight. He's just calm, cool. He looks very comfortable back there. First and goal for the Hounds. Julius comes in motion. We'll hand it off up the middle. Monquell Cox. Monquell's going to get back outside. Monquell walking the end zone touchdown. He just he cuts it upfield, follows his block, and sees that there's no hole, and, and he just takes it backside for another 10 yards. What a job our offensive line. I mean, these, these guys have been sensational tonight. Got some stats? Absolutely, and on that 10-yard run right there, Monquell Cox will get 200 rushing yards. 200 100. rushing yards. And he'll have, that will make his fifth rushing touchdown of the night. Wow. <laughs> oh, is that what a right? night by Cox. What a night for Monquell Cox. It's a pretty good night, you get 200. Hounds prepare for the extra point. It's up, it is good. 53. 53. <laughs> To 21, Hounds lead it. 7.37 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Well, we knew that these guys could give up a lot of points, but we certainly thought they would score a lot of points, and it's not over yet. 
Which you're up by 32, and here's some more stats. And Cash Forrester, 13 of 26 tonight. And he has 207 yards pass. 207. I knew he was wow. 150 or, or better, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's throwing the football very well. He's throwing it exceptionally well. Over 500 yards. Well, I start saying it's 400 yards, and I know we got some others. Yeah, uh, we have three over a little over 300 rushing yards tonight. So wow, what a game plan! And I, I think John Bradley, and the offensive staff, obviously just came in and said, "Look, guys, here's what we've got to do." And it's what I like about this staff is they can look at this film, and these guys work tirelessly looking at film. Say, okay, we lose to a Pottsville team, was a pretty good football team, and a game that we very well could have, should have probably won, but it didn't work for us last week, so we, we, we put that behind us. We improve on that. We go out and say, what can we do to get better? I think we've gotten better tonight on both sides of the football. And that's what you want to do every game. And there's the little pooch kick for Cash Forster. Picked around the 23-yard line. We'll try to set up. Great blocking. He makes a guy miss. He's still trying to get outside. He's on his feet. And great job. Great pursuit. Figure out who that is. Tommy Colbert, number 11 for you, Greyhounds. Well, he overran it, and then he came back and tackled the guy from behind. That was tremendous. He made him cut up, so he did his job. And then he comes back and makes the tackle, and that's sensational by that young man. 7.27 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Hounds lead it 53-21 to over the Green County Tech Golden Eagles. Also, Cox has got... Uh, a catch for nine yards, and he's got a receiving touchdown, so six total TDs for Monquil Cox tonight. Well, I think he's had a good night. I'd say so. He's got six He's got six more touchdowns than I ever have. <laughs> I actually got two in my career. First and ten ball at the 30-yard line for the Eagles. As a matter of fact, this would be a good It'll history be a false question. start. False start. But here's a history question for you. For about, let's see, for nine years, I held a record for Newport. Most points scored in a state championship game at six for nine years. And I think Billy Warren beat it in 81 in a state championship <laughs> game. But uh, well, that's a good one to let beat you. Don Shelton blocked a punt. You see the mishandled snap. Don Shelton blocked a punt. And somebody hit me so hard it knocked me, you know, just knocked me into the end zone, and the ball was just, it was just there for the, the taking, and I just kind of <laughs> fell on it. When the guy hit me, they were actually, you know, they're punting, we block it, and the, the guy, what they call the toe guy, who was the blocking back of me, he actually hit me up under the chin, and I thought it broke my jaw. I mean, I just remember. <laughs> then a the guy hits me from behind, and I fall on the ball, and everybody was jumping on me, and hey, you're going to do to get off me, I'm hurt. <laughs> I played in the state championship game in 1972. We lost 21-13 to Magnolia. They were undefeated, 13-0. Second and long for Green County. Here's the snap, and they'll just go dive. Great job by the Hound defense getting some new guys in there. We'll Dang try to name all these guys. Six maybe on the play. 6.33 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Hounds lead it 53-21 to over the Eagles. Going to be third down and about 15 for the Eagles. Craig Fallwell checking in the game. Spencer Molinax also checking into the ball game. Kayvon Dixon also checking in at that defensive line. Gavin Tarwater also in there. Here's the snap and looking to pass, and he's going to throw it deep to 17 where he will have a first down and great job, great tackle. Gavin Tarwater. Sonic Drive in, their new location at 501 Highway 367 North. Well, I had lunch at Sonic today, and you know what I didn't get? I didn't get Route one 44 the, ice no, cream. I, no, I didn't get a Route 44 ice cream with extra Oreo cookies. Sonic Blast, extra large. Oh, 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 but I didn't have one this week. Five minutes and 45 seconds remaining on the clock in the fourth quarter. First and 10 ball at the 48-yard line. The grasshopper invasion. Flag on the play. It's going to be offsides on the Greyhounds. You know, if you take two of these guys, these grasshoppers, and I missed that one. Y'all have ever seen this? If you take two of them and you get them together right here like this, 
these guys will fight. They'll fight each other. And we used to play that in junior high school, and we tried to pull the head off one. First and five for the Eagles. Motion to the bottom of the screen and missed the snap. Quarterback's just going to fall on it. Smart move by him. Uh, Greyhounds were coming in pursuit there. 5-16. Clock continues to roll here in the fourth quarter. Hounds still lead it, 53-21. to Did we mention Kevin Dixon? Okay, good deal. Good deal. Chris Reynolds checking into the ball game as well. Chris Reynolds, neighbor, played very well tonight on kickoff. Travis Smith checking in the ball game at the linebacker. I'm going to watch number eight. Well, I was talking to his position coach earlier and said you need to get him in the game more. I agree. <laughs> Second and long. Here's the snap quarterback option. He does pitch it this time. Great run. <laughs> He's met. It was a big hit. Can we tell who it was? Bad boy mower. We've had several bad boy mower collisions of the week. Hits of the week, bad boy mowers. It looked like Craig Falwell, number 52, on the big hit. Badboymower.com for zero turn lawn mowers that are absolutely second none and built locally in Batesville, Arkansas and sold throughout the world. Bad boy lawn mowers. Third and 13 for the Eagles. Here's the snap. He's going to look to pass. It'll be a screen pass. And it's going to be incomplete. Just couldn't come up with it on that one. Boy, and he had him because our defensive line was coming. Boy, we were coming. We, we bid on that one. 4-0-3 remaining here in the fourth quarter as the clock stops on the incomplete pass. Talk to him, a good friend, Scott Lancaster, who's the legal counsel for Bad Boy Mowers and former Newport High School graduate. And we were talking about Bad Boy Mowers and how they got their name. And he said, honestly, he said one of their – First prototype lawnmowers got on it. The guy test drove it and they came back and said, what'd you think about it? He said, that's a bad boy. Well, good, that's what we're gonna call them, bad boy mowers. Fourth and long for the Eagles. There's the snap quarterback, gonna look to throw. He's gonna just throw it up. Great job, Spencer, Spencer Murphy. Murphy. He's been all over the place tonight in that D-back position. It'll be a turnover on downs. The Newport Greyhounds will get the ball at the 45-yard line with three minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. George Kell Motor Company, player of the game, the Subway Coaches Report at the conclusion of the broadcast. Ben Black, did I interrupt my bad? No, you're fine. Hounds lead it 53-21 to 21 here in the fourth as the press box comes tumbling down. I'm not surprised. We didn't. We wanted to I tear went, it down. I went to lean on it, and it got to leaning with me. Don't lean it too much. First and ten. Here's the snap. We'll hand it off the middle. Theron Davis. Theron Davis wow. finds the seam, and there shows the speed. Theron Davis is going to walk in the end zone. Touchdown, Greyhounds. Untouched on a dive play. Had to hurdle again. We couldn't even name the offensive line guys who just came in. That's the second group. Yeah. There you go. Didn't have an opportunity to name those guys. Hound score on their first play of the drive. I know Weston Henderson was in the football game. Hunter Hurst also. 3.45 remaining here in the fourth quarter. That'll put him over 100 for the night. Darren, absolutely. Yeah. Anytime you can score 60 points in a football game, the offense is going to, you're going to put up the numbers. Snap, hold, kick, Rolando. It's good. You know, other than the one, I mean, we did have a takeaway when the young man got hurt and the Christian kid got hurt. We had a takeaway when the defense scored. Is that the only defensive score we've had tonight? Yes. Most of it offense. Yep. The offense has been sensational. It has been. The defense has played well, too. I mean, you say 21 points, but, you know, uh, one was a, a, a kickoff return for a touchdown. One of them, they had a long kickoff return that gave them the ball inside the 10-yard line. They got, got a score there. So you, you look at the Greyhounds traditionally, and we've been known for the smash mouth running football. Well, at the end of last week, we look at our stats, and we have 100 yards rushing, and how many passing yards did we have? Uh, a little over 250. A little over 250. Right. So not a traditional start for the Greyhounds. So 
tonight to come out and, and to put the ball on the ground as well as we have, it's, it's a big, big plus for the Hounds, especially playing a, a team that's two classifications bigger than we yeah, are. Yeah, no doubt about that, man. No doubt about it. And anytime you score 60 in a football game, you're doing something right. Feel, feels pretty good, doesn't it, Hayden? Absolutely. Mark Martin Automotive kickoff, and boy, we've talked a lot about Mark Martin tonight. You're looking for a pre-owned automobile, try the pre-owned giant, watch their program on our Cable 15 TV and Channel 8 at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. Cash, Mark Martin Automotive. Cash Forster, just a pooch kick. Going to be fielded around the 20-yard line. Here comes that kickoff team. And he's still on his feet. 17 is going to break a tackle, and he's going to get in the end zone. This team doesn't give up. No, they're, <laughs> they're not going to go anywhere, Hayden. They're, they're a tough group of kids. They've got some good size to them and just hard-nosed football team. I've noticed on the kickoff, when they kick off, return the kickoff, they're cross-blocking. All the guys on the left side are coming down and going back across. They're trying to catch that guy not looking and basically ear-holing. Sportsmanship rule in play at 35 points. The gentleman's points. rule. The gentleman's rule. Gentleman's rule. Well, it's 20. It's 33 now, so it was 39. Is that correct? Yeah. Your math's a little better than mine off the top of your head. Well, I uh, have a Newport High School degree. Kick is up, and it is good. Green County Tech, 28. Trailing the Newport Greyhounds, 60 to 28. Well, let's hope the Hounds can run three minutes and 31 seconds off. How are we doing on battery time there, my friend? 61 minutes left. Oh, we're in good shape then. For the first time in history, I've been doing these games on television for 25 years, and I think for the first time in history, I forgot a piece of equipment. And it was only the piece of equipment that we needed to plug it into the electricity. But you re remembered to bring the pronouncers and the cameraman. So. That's correct. I got y'all here. Yes, no doubt. 36 years in the booth, boys. Started a long time ago. Started with Bud Black and Freeman Travis. The Warrior. The Warrior. And Bud Black, the voice, former voice of the Greyhounds. And you know what the Warrior is doing right now? He is the voice of the Greyhounds. He's the voice of the Greyhounds. Salem, Salem Greyhounds. Arkansas, absolutely. Saw him this week in the fuel station. You talk about a guy that's like a brother. Man, he is a brother. Freeman Travis to us. Love him to death. Green County Tech looks like they're going to onside kick it. And they will. And that kicker's just going to go get it. And he'll get on it. This team's not giving up, I'm going to tell you. They're going to put up a fight until the last second. They're saying run he's, the clock. He's signaling to run the clock. The kicker just kicked the ball and immediately ran 10 yards and fell on it. Just played well by him. He's done that a time or two. Three minutes and 18 seconds as the clock continues to roll under the gentleman rule. Score is 60 to 28, your Greyhounds lead. Green County Tech will take over at midfield. We got 10 out here, 11 count them. 10. We have 10. We have 10. Yeah, that's what I Here's thought. the snap, and he's just going to throw it deep. Chris Reynolds oh. goes up for an interception. They're going to throw a flag. I'm eager to see what the flag is. Well, I hope they discuss it for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> In 41 seconds. Yes. Oh, man, they call that on Chris. So come back to the line of scrimmage and mark off 15. Go real slow, real slow. I say just do that again. If they're marking the ball off, it's hard to snap it. You could jump off sides here and then they would start the clock. Western Henderson will check into the ball game. Now we have 11. Oh, they would. Yeah, if you jump off sides, you, you, they don't stop the clock. Jump off sides here. Here's the snap. 32 going to look to pass. He's just going to throw it deep. Chris Reynolds just knocks it down. Good job, Chris Reynolds. Great job, Chris. Young kid, tough kid. Uh, neighborhood kid. Neighborhood kid. I can remember when Coach Reynolds was coaching us in baseball. 
Chris was just a little wee lad, just a kid, coming up there and always wanted to be a greyhound, so he's living his dream. Bad Boy Moore's collision of the week goes to Julius Clark, no doubt. Second and ten, going to look past, and he'll just throw it deep once again, and it's over his head. Wow, they're just tackling us on the offensive line. <laughs> Third and ten, 120 left in the fourth quarter. Your Greyhounds leading 60 to 28 over Green County Tech. I'm telling you, I'll jump off sides here. Jump off sides, the officials will have to stop, and they'll have to mark off five yards. Clock will not stop. And there's the snap. He's going to look to pass once again. That's just going to be a screen underneath. And there's a big block by Green County Tech. He's on his feet and he's brought down. Jalen Giss is going to bring him down. 45 seconds. Clock continues to roll. Well, you would think when the Hounds put in their second team that the other coaches would oblige and do the same. And he is elected not to. Desmond Grady at that nose guard position. Here's the snap. He's going to look to pass. Throws it underneath. Great tackle. Trav Smith and Chris Reynolds. Number eight, Chris Reynolds. Thirteen seconds remaining. Clock continue to roll. Ten, nine. We're going to get one more play, maybe. Here's the snap, he's just going to look to pass, and that'll end the ball game, regardless of the outcome. He's brought down, no touchdown. An explosive Tommy night Colbert's for the make Greyhound the last tackle. 60 to 28, the Greyhounds win it, and it's been an offensive night for the Hounds, no doubt. Got to have a little work on the special teams, the kickoff team, but other than that, we'll get Coach Hinesley up here in just a little bit. Final thoughts, guys, Ben? Just, man, go Hounds. I, uh, Hayden. I'm with Ben. Go Hounds. I felt like offense did a phenomenal job tonight. 563 total offensive yards tonight. That is an awesome night, and that's what we'll talk about in the uh, player of the game show and the coaches show coming up next. George Cal Motor Company, player of the game. We talked about this guy all night long. Monquell Cox, a super night for you, young man. Over 200 yard rushing. Tell me how it felt out there tonight. I feel great. Man, it's just it's an amazing feeling. It is. What worked for you guys? What particular plays were working, or was it just everything? Just tell us a little bit about what were some of your favorite plays out there tonight. Uh, Titan, Steeler, mostly Titan and okay. Patriot. What do you do on Titan? Uh, it's just like a up the good run. Up the middle? Yeah. You get a trap block? Yes, sir. Okay. Talk a little bit about your offensive line tonight because, you know, you got to give some credit there. Talk a little bit about those guys. Man, they did great. I mean, I mean without them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got what I got tonight. Yeah, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. We'll talk a little bit about the preparation this week. You know, we lose a football game last week that we probably could have won. Talk a little bit about what all you guys did in practice this week to prepare for tonight. Man, we just went over all the plays that they did and just – do what we do best, play Greyhound football. Well, we did tonight, didn't we? Yes, we sir. did put 60 on the, on, on the board. And uh, do you know how many touchdowns you scored tonight? Uh, six, I believe. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this guy goes for over 200 yards, and I'm, I'm probably near 300 total offense. <laughs> six touchdowns on the night. It was a phenomenal night. And uh, you get to play a little on both sides of the football from time to time. But uh, uh, we've got one more non-conference game. What's the plan for this team? Well, how good? can this team be? It can be really good. We just continue to stick together and work hard. That's what you have to do, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you guys will be back in Sunday. Do y'all go in and look at film on Sunday? How does that work? When do you watch the film? Uh, Monday. Watch we go in to practice, watch film, then go outside and just run over a little bit of the thing that the next team does. Okay. And then, uh, hey, there's no doubt, I think not only are you the George Kell Motor Company player of the game, I think you're going to have some, some higher awards around the state of Arkansas tonight. But uh, uh, it just it was a tremendous night for you, and, and you don't have nights like that every time. But you've, you've looked forward to this all your life, have you not? Yes, sir. Tell me about school. Tell me a little bit about school. What, you have a favorite subject that you like. What do you like most about school? 
Uh, I mean, I like seeing my friends and all, but my favorite subject, I think, is math right now. Is that right? Good deal. Who's your math instructor? Uh, Miss Singleton. Okay, good deal. Good deal. And uh, math's one of those that, that uh, it, it, it's different than it was <laughs> many, many years ago, but it's still about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing <laughs> yes, as you can. Well, Mark, well, listen, we are so excited about where this football team is going, and uh, there's no doubt that you guys made a tremendous turnaround from last week. Talk a little bit about your coaching staff and how those guys prepared you. I mean, they're doing great coaching us. I mean, staying on us all day, or all week long. I mean, they just couldn't get in. They couldn't do any a better any, a better job. No, and they do. nor could you tonight, my <laughs> friend. So you listen well. Monquel Cox, he's our player of the game. Over 200 yards rushing, six touchdowns on the night. I would say that this guy had a huge night. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Coach Mark Hasley joins us in the booth after Mon uh, Monquel Cox and what a job he did tonight. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, uh, the show brought to you by Subway in the Walmart uh, Super Center. Uh, a 60-28 to 28 victory, and, you know, we talk about it a lot. We, we strive against perfection. It wasn't perfect, but it was a victory for the Hounds. It is, you know, and, that, and, that's, and, and you, you, that's what you're always pushing for is that perfection because you want every game to be clean and be just a complete game, and you don't always get that. But, uh, you know, I think for our kids to show the fight that they had all night uh, and then just the resiliency after every little thing that would happen, they just kept on fighting and keep moving forward. And that was the challenge I gave them and, and it showed up tonight. Tremendous offensive game plan. We came out and we ran the football exceptionally well. Cash threw the football exceptionally yep. well. We threw the ball down the field some. Not so much to complete passes, but to, you know, to, to back those guys yep. out of what they were doing. But our, our hitches were open. Cash was sensational, but a great offensive game plan. And we say it all the time, is, is you got to take shots every now and then even if they don't work. They sure. work. And, sure. and, and, and I think it did that for us a little bit. And you know, and with great adjustments as we went because they were showing more off corners and, and, and middle field safeties. And we did a lot of shots. We try to take advantage of the seams, and we did a lot of stuff for the hitches on the outside. So uh, I think we did a, a great adjustment there based on their coverage. And then also, you know, they, they were trying to move those tackles inside and outside, and we did a great job of keeping it inside, trying to bust things outside. I think it kept them guessing all night. So offensive game plan and, 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 and adjustments were great all night. Hey, offensive and defensive lines, absolutely super. You know, I, I can't say enough about uh, the Dalton Phillipses and the Connor Prince and the Gideon Ball this year yes. and the Zane Watkins and the Alex Emery's. Those guys came in. They play both sides of the ball. And for them to play that gritty of a ball game up front and, and, and get us those yards. I mean, because Monquel didn't do it all by itself. Right. And uh, defensive line, I challenged them. You know, we're, we're going to be good. Our coverage is going to help. It, but we have to be able to get that D-line up the field. And, and, and they, 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 I challenged them this week, and they, they were gritty this, this afternoon for us. Well, there's no doubt that the Hounds really dominated the football game. You know, it's 60 to 28. Anytime you score 60, you've yeah. had a great night. Defense got a touchdown tonight. And, uh, but, but, I mean, it was just one of those nights where, every, I mean, uh, 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 Theron had a tremendous game. Oh, yeah. Cash had a game. Offensive line, did, we caught the ball on the perimeter. We did the things off offensively and mixed it up and Cash can get out of the pocket and what decisions that yeah. guy makes. He's pretty good back there. Three-year starter and that, pretty good. There you go. You said it right there. To be a three-year starter, he's a coach on the field. He yes. really is. You know, you hear that all the time, but I can't stress it enough that he is because if, if we were in a situation, I would just tell Cash to run the offense and he could do it right. and he could do it with, with efficiency. So, you know, that kid, I can't say enough about him. His work ethic, too. He's the first one out off the bus that gets on the field and wants to warm up, throw. He, the, the work ethic is why he's, he is what he is. And, and that's a test to his, to his raising, I guess. But uh, th that kid is, is going to have a great year, great season. Monquel Cox, over 200-yard rushing, six touchdowns. And I don't ever remember anybody scoring six touchdowns. Uh, that, that's, that's a – Six touchdowns? That's plaque-worthy almost. Yes, that's it plaque is. Worthy. <laughs> I guarantee I mean, you. that's just amazing. And, 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 I mean, you know, that goes to a great game plan. Uh, you know, Coach McGee seen it up here. Coach Bradley making good play calls. Coach Smith helping. Coach uh, – you, you know, you got so many people involved in it, man. It's, 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 it's real special when you see so many positives in a game like this. It makes the negative still hurt sometimes, but they're very fixable. So I, I just love uh, the, what we what we what we put together tonight. I saw a lot of good things defensively. Also, yeah. I, I like our defense, our guys, and they did. We ran to the football a little yeah. bit better tonight. And uh, uh, you, you you rock along there. You know, we lose a linebacker last week, yeah. and, and and then then we get a you know a, a spearing penalty, and you yeah. lose that linebacker yeah. replaced. And so what you do, you just you say next man up yeah. mentality, just like we talked about yeah. last week. But defensively, I thought we were yeah. good. Yeah, and and. In that, 
and that's what I like to see is I, you know, I, I love seeing those second team guys that got some uh, some on the film there that I'm going to be able to evaluate them. And it's just to see that next man up and to go in there and to see what I like to see was Julius taking him and pretty much just coaching him and, and, and being that, that senior leader that, that, we're, that we yeah. need. So, uh, yeah, you know, so many positive in this game, David. I cannot say it enough. So many positive. What our kids did, coaches did. It was just an all-out good night for them. Well, we have Lone Oak coming in our place for our opening, uh, opening football game at home this year, and that'll be a tremendous challenge for us, but let's just savor the victory tonight. That's and, right. Uh, we're one and one in the little non-conference schedule. Yeah. They give us three games, and then we get in the meat of the schedule, and, and as we talked about yeah. the third part of the season, the playoffs. That's right. Mark Hansley, great victory tonight for Thank the Hounds. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it's always brought to you by Subway and the Walmart Super Center. Go, Go Hounds! Hounds. <laughs>